And we're only like two minutes late though. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations, and cheers, there's dog play in my teeth. Um, there we go. Uh, hey Daniel, how's it going? Say so nobody was in here, it's fine. <laughs> hey Angela, hey Derpy, hey Red Kel. I am putting it on live chat instead of top chat. And let me get this pulled up on my tablet so I can see y'all's comments. Um, no, I'm, I'm talking space. Sure? Yep, I double checked it. Is it like super bad? Not so bad. I just want to make sure. Why is my tablet so greasy? I was cooking. I was cooking right next to it. Hey, Linda. <laughs> Kelly says, well, I subliminally some I clicked. I with that word clicked. <laughs> oh, thanks, Daniel. Hey, bracelets in the UK. Hey, pro, pro pool. <laughs> I don't realize till I'm writing your name down, by the way, that I always say it pull pro <laughs> instead of pro pool. So I started to agonize because I was too excited for the stream today. Ah, right on. How are they going, Mandy? I gotta get this tablet figured out. Is it not even on? It's not even on. Finally able to see you live. Hey, Angie. Hey, Natalie. Okay, getting that started up. If you guys have, I don't even know if, I, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations. Did I say that? It's still, it's still accurate. Um, I'm so happy to be out of my crafting block. Yes, excellent. Crafting blocks can be the worst. Cause it's like, oh, hey, pretty girl. Get on up here. Or are you just gonna sit there and judge me? That's, that's fair. She joined me, we're joined today. By the boss. Hey, Randy. Yeah. Could you hit the heater for me? Thank you. Um, trying some new techniques and color combos. It's all pastel glittery. I go right on. All right on. Cowgirl says from West Virginia. I have a cat like yours. I would wish a cat like Callie on anybody. She's just enough of a gremlin to keep things interesting, but she's a sweetie. Um, oh, I bet. you do know how to talk to me. Um. I use crafting as like my way to unwind. So whenever I have a crafting block, it's like, I don't even know how to cope. Like, you know, like my coping mechanism is broken. How to cope with my coping mechanism being broken. <laughs> so now I have cat fur all over my nose. Um, if you guys have any questions that you would like addressed directly, um, please do the at and then Yvonne Williams. Uh, with a capital Y and a space and a capital W, just like how Natasha just did. Janine says, please read my email, pine cones, needles, and shells. I will do that when we get off the live stream, if that's okay. Did you monetize? I didn't get hit with ad. I think we did. I don't know. I just do this for a living. Oh no, Kathy says I'm in a crafting block at the moment. My coping mechanism is gaming. Right on, Red Cal. I have a question about Discord. Shoot. Because the person who... Uh, can help you with that is here right now and that's Daniel because I don't actually know what's going on on discord like I don't know how to use it like I get mad every time I hit back and it closes the app so <laughs> like I get frustrated with discord instantly uh Daniel though is super um helpful and knowledgeable about all that stuff I tried so many things to get out of the funk even rearranged my whole living room finally I think that helped me right on Mandy hmm okay pulling this up And then we're going to talk about some stuff because, holy smokes, has it been a week. It's been a really good week. But my, what a week. A week of change. A week of change. Faux show. So I want to say hello to all of our new subscribers who uh, seem to have come over as a result of my uh, goodbye Etsy video that I truly thought was just like, like, I posted that just because I wanted to, like, kind of vent to y'all a little bit about what was going on and things. And I had no idea that it would have, like, over 60,000 views and that so many people, that so many other people were experiencing uh, very similar frustrations to what I was experiencing, to what Randy and I are going through. How do I make my screen rotate? Hey, Randy. How do I make 
think my screen. Oh, okay. Never mind. You turn the device? Yeah. No, well, I turned it, but it stayed upside down. Oh. Upside down. Ooh. Chat about cakes says, hey, cakes. Um, I've just seen another person start an option on YouTube selling jewelry. Honestly, chat, that was like the the most successful thing we've ever done actually is to start doing live auctions on uh here on youtube because we get to like interact a little bit y'all get to see the jewelry like move it's not just a picture um it's it utilizes honestly i'm way better at um way more comfortable at marketing and selling in person um because i know how to like i i can know how to tailor my sales pitch to you in particular because you have your questions and we can just do it live and it's wonderful whereas like i hate typing all day like doing like descriptions and stuff and it's like oh it's shiny do you want it like you can have it <laughs> um but uh but yeah i really hope that that works out for them like i would encourage really daniel give me just a sec i've got like I, i'm not like being weird but i've got cat hair all over my nose and it's so tickling me okay they're copying you. Someone mentioned your name. Right on. Good. Hey, honestly, that's if it's a business model that's working for them, do it. I'm like, <laughs> like I did not invent auctions. Uh, Kilburns asked, how do you get paid through the auction? Used to, we would post the auction listings to Etsy um, and anybody who won like want to bid, uh, they would send me an email with their real name, their YouTube screen name and Oh no, there we go. that's so rough. Um, and like kind of a rough description of what they bought. That way if I post something that's like, oh, holy crap, thank you, Susan. Ooh. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I brain farted again. We could cross-reference who bought. We could cross re thank you, Randy. We could cross-reference with who bought the item with who paid for the item because if none of the names match up we'll be like are you really this person and then we'll refund them and make sure that the correct person can purchase it now we're just posting the auction winnings like for march we'll be posting it to our website and just using our um our website backdoorcreations.com to host the payment transactions and we use like square and paypal um as an instagram folks like i'll do auctions on sundays and invoice via paypal yep and that's a really good way of going about it um it's just as easy for me to be able to post it to the website um, as it is for me to make an invoice and email it to people because not everybody emails me, but that way we can have it up on a place for y'all's convenience. But again, that's just my way of going about it. Hey Joyce, how's it going? Um, we have projects to work on today, but um, first announcements. I have some announcements left over from uh, our Saturday patron exclusive live stream. If y'all are one of our Patreon supporters who receives a craft along kit, first off, thank you, because y'all make our world go round. Um, but also in February, we were thinking we were doing really good and got everything shipped off on the 5th, but Patreon continued to process payments up until the 20th is uh, the latest that we've experienced so far. So if you did not get your Patreon package from February, please send us a message and we'll hunt down your tracking info and get that all sorted for you. So um yeah please 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 let us know because there's not really a way for us to be able to track it that <laughs> um through patreon so we're relying on you guys but thank you guys so much though for your support and for your patience um we took a glass class brandy and i took a glass class and it was amazing we went to creative escape studio in springfield missouri and um yep the one with the heart crabs daniel uh, or like the laser cut resin heart things. Um, come on, boy. We took the glass class. We made some fused glass and some first stage of like puddle pendants. We don't have any pictures of this stuff because we weren't able to actually put it in the kiln yet. So we'll be going back in like a week or two. Um, next time we're able to go, go into Springfield and We'll, we'll definitely be posting pictures and stuff as that goes, but man, it was really nice to cut some glass and like really get some experience with that. Um, and Randy was phenomenal at it, you guys. Like, I mean, he does basically all of our chainmail production, but he's like, wires wrappings, not his thing. 
leather working he's like I really don't want to mess it up that's so expensive and it's like and I'm not going to push a project on him that he's not like excited about because that's the quickest way to take the love of crafting out of somebody is to be like no you have to do this um but he like all the years of shop class through high school he's so good at like just like being concise and good and clean at things and like his glass had perfectly straight lines and like was all exactly the right size and mine looked like a squirrel had chewed upon it um like which gets us into our next thing uh segueing into we got the roof patched um it wasn't damage to like the roof roof just a squirrel ate actually i think a legion of squirrels ate part of our house <laughs> and but now it's all patched up uh temporarily so um because the guy was like i'm not gonna be able to come back to like fix it fix it for at least another two weeks but i can patch it up with some shingles and just keep the rain from coming in because like we had legit like you could see the sky <laughs> through the closet um, and so we were like, we need this to stop, like, a suit immediately, um, because we had, a, like, a big tote underneath it that we were catching all the rain through, but until we get, like, metal put up there, uh, the squirrels are just gonna chew back through it again, so, oh god, I hope we don't have a raccoon in our attic, Penny, <laughs> so, joke about gingerbread house, right, oof, but, um, also, uh, as a last follow-up, we have just a couple of auction items from February's auction that if you haven't completed your purchase yet, that is still up on Etsy. Um, just because that's where I linked you guys to and they aren't starting their fees and stuff until like a month from now or I don't know, the days are taken away. Um, but they're still up there for you guys. Uh, and also, we do still have our digital template up on Etsy because I wanted to be able to actually track and see if their Etsy's new offsite ads if it would actually increase our sales of our digital templates we do have them posted up on our main website though but um I just I wanted to be able to track and monitor and see we had a, and this leads me to I guess our next topic and that is more more Etsy crap but I as much as I really loved to have the opportunity to share my experience with y'all and hear y'all's experience, there were a lot of people who were like, I'm not even going to bother starting my business now. And that's the last thing that I intended to do was to discourage anybody or to be another drop in the bucket of what can sometimes feel like overwhelming discouragement. Um, the new Etsy ads program, I actually think hopefully will be good for if you are a brand new store or an up and coming store on Etsy because it's a much better ad system and you do have the option to, to opt out. Um, but we kind of, we ran the numbers and broke it down and 93% of our sales on Etsy uh, since starting the auctions are a direct result of the auctions. So that's why I was so upset that I couldn't opt out is because I'm like, if somebody, uh, it, this exact situation happens like monthly ever since we started doing the auctions and that's I post something to Instagram I promote our Etsy our website our auction and stuff and so if somebody would let's say they google us and because ads are placed in the most convenient spot they hit the ad to our Etsy link instead of scrolling down to like the fifth or sixth listing which is a non-ad listing um and they browse around and they see that I have nothing for sale because I'm like <laughs> like this um and they're like okay and uh they decide that they're going to come to our auction entirely by my own footwork on instagram or you know here on youtube and then but since they clicked on that ad and it spans for the 30 days let's say that they buy something at the auction and i post it and i direct link them there's their cookies are still being tracked and they're still under this umbrella of they came in because of an ad. So Etsy would be getting, you know, 12% of that sale. And I'm like, a, a lot of y'all spend like a hundred bucks uh, on our auctions. Like that's not uncommon. Oh my God, thank you, Lavender. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. She's this number one fan. Thank you so much, Lavender. But it's a, a lot of y'all 
are very generous with your bids and your purchases on our auctions and I don't feel like Etsy deserves $12 of that transaction in addition to all of the other fees that they're taking. And so I was just frustrated that I didn't have the option to opt out. But by no means did I mean, did I intend for anyone to be discouraged from starting their store. It's like, you're gonna do well with or without Etsy. Um, Etsy needs to get their act together and remember that they're here to serve you as the creator, as the artisan. Susan, what are you doing? Y'all, stop giving me money. Like, I mean, well, but you could, <laughs> we, you could be getting things for your money, like over on our website. <laughs> but thank you so much. Um, but no, it. Thank you though. Uh, but yeah, it's y'all are gonna do great, and it's and so many of the people who are sharing their experience with Etsy is they're like, I've had my Etsy shop for six months, and I have not made a single sale and it's like you could have just as easily had your own website and not made a single sale but you're not paying the 20 cent fee um you're not you know uh <sighs> if you post it and three months go by and it deactivates and then you post it and three months go by you know so instead it does Joyce and anybody who's like oh it's just 12 dollars it's like you don't get to tell me how much of my budget I get to frivolously throw away on you know stupid stuff so it's but uh it, it's not necessary hopefully Etsy's new ad system will help generate sales for you but oh Tracy we're great we're doing phenomenally like we're very lucky that y'all are so awesome and that we already had our own website um, we just was a matter of just getting some products listed on it and instead of using it as a hub, getting it like shifted around. But um, like I'm here now to try to help you guys to get your businesses started and to get your stuff going because it's whenever you whenever you start your shop, whether it's on Etsy or Artfire or your own uh, WordPress or a, a Weebly, there's actually I think I don't actually think it's done in the video description, but I'll try to remember to put it there. Manaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the peeing race begins. Um, <laughs> no, -uh, I'm number one fan. <laughs> oh, <Naya. laughs> um, yeah, right, uh, Tracy. But um, regardless, we we have where if you follow our link for on Weebly, y'all can get ten percent off of if you decide to buy a plan. But you don't have to buy a plan to have a Weebly store where you can make sales for free. Um, if they take out like uh, processing fees, but that's anywhere, you're gonna get that. Um, so uh, whenever you've started your store, the first circle of people who are gonna be buying from you are your close family and friends and coworkers, like the people in your immediate social circle who hopefully I would encourage them if they wanna be a good friend to be supportive to you. Even if they're not buying something, maybe they could like or share it on their social media because maybe uh, they have a little branch of their social network that you don't have contact with, but maybe somebody over here is like, oh my God, I love that. And you know, it's, so it's gonna branch out that way and it's going to generate organic flow to your site it just takes a lot of time and effort uh sometimes it happens more quickly than others but it's you just got to keep at it and you'll get it like you'll do well with or without etsy so uh somebody had typed a comment this morning that just broke my heart that was like well this is i guess i'll just not again and i'm like no 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 <laughs> if you have it in your heart that you want to do this do not let any obstacle be in your way it's you can hop over it, you can work around it, you can dig under it. Just because there's a bump in the road, just because it's the millionth bump in the road, you can do this so long as you feel called to. Because it's like if you're not really feeling it anymore, then yeah, don't do it. <laughs> like, I mean, but it's you can do this. Like, rant over. Um, mm hmm. Oh. The tea is a perfect drinking temperature now, Randy. I'm done. Uh, mm. Okay, sorry. Twelve dollars gets me to and from work one day a week worth of groceries. Also, I'm at number one. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, 
So on to crafting now, but first I want to show you guys this ridiculous, our neighbors across the street have like, um, some super old, it's not even doing it anymore. There's a piece of metal over there that was like the sun, the sun was hitting perfectly. <laughs> so I just taped paper on it. Um, and my tripod's all the way over here. But I am like crazy in love with glass fusing, you guys. And that's the uh, the gentleman that came and fixed the hole in our roof. Um, we also had him look at a few other projects that have desperately needed fixed around the house. Uh, one of them being getting a new electrical line strung to our kiln. Sorry for wibbly wobbly camera. Uh, and so he hasn't gotten back to us yet with the quotes on that. Um, but we're really hoping to be able to get the bathroom usable again, the kiln usable. Um, <laughs> so now I've been bumping out some inventory and this, I make like little bins of projects to take upstairs so we can sit on the couch and like watch YouTube videos together. But I have been making a whole bunch of little starflower earrings and I have a pile for our booth inventory and I have a pile of oh Katrina really she says I have a box of fusing glass to send you I just need to actually take it to the post office oh my god that's so generous of you Katrina you know you could keep it and make stuff with it like that's <laughs> not to be like be less generous but wow like thank you <laughs> Ooh, Zang, bale pliers do make a huge difference. I love outside gardening there. Oh, hey, Grandma. Yeah, we actually, uh, we're going to be shooting another vlog post about the garden and everything uh, and the, our recent developments with that, hopefully. Oops, bumping stuff. Hopefully, eventually. Um, but yeah, so we have a bunch made. And I had made a little stack of containers of more colors. So I need to make pairs out of all these colors as well. And my little work surface is getting increasingly messy. But yeah, okay, so I'm done like rambling <laughs> about all, all my life stuff that's going on. So if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, I am now uh, able to pay attention to the comments because otherwise I get like completely derailed. How are your chickens? How many do you have now? Hey Teresa, we are down to three. After a critter, I don't know if it was a possum or a raccoon or what, chewed through the floor of the shed, um, we lost saffron as well. Um, so we are actually, one of our friends is helping us make a, um, I say helping us, but he's basically doing all of the work. Um, and which I really appreciate, but it's our schedules just don't line up. Um, but uh, he's making us a new chicken coop that is like going to be much better. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to keep our little baby chicken or chickens safe. Speaking of baby chickens, Anna says possum don't eat chickens. I have, I have caught them red handed in my chicken coop with a chicken in their mouth. So, like, not to be argumentative, but it's, yep, we, we have, actually we have, have a groundhog that'll get in there and eat their eggs, but uh, we'll just go right into the coop doing the eggs. We, we do think, Teresa, we're gonna go ahead and get some, uh, get some chicks, not until after the shed's actually done though. Because I'm not going to bring more chickens into, uh, you know, a yard that I can't keep them safe in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I just, I'm using 26 gauge wire. Uh, Lindsay says my daughter wants chickens so much. She's been collecting sticks to make a fence to keep them safe. She's four, so her engineering skills are, skills are questionable. Actually, her engineering engineering skills sound on par with mine. Um, <laughs> uh, D, we won't be incubating our own eggs. Uh, we don't have a rooster, so all the eggs our chickens lay are infertile. 
Um, maybe one day when we have the land to be able to justify, like, I'm only going to get, like, I think Randy said I could get five chicks because probably two of them will be roosters. Um, and so that way I can make sure to get, or worst case scenario, we'll have five more hens, but I've never had such good <laughs> numbers. Um, we still have Poppy, who is our oldest chicken now, um, Pepper, and Nutmeg. Yeah, Poppy's a little bit of a boss bitch now. Seniority, I guess. Yeah, only one rooster per flock. Well, it's we we eat our roosters. Um, so, because being in town the way that we are, and, and the neighbors are. Uh, okay with the chickens at least they haven't complained um, but I'm sure they'd start complaining uh... <coughs> so I just made a green aventurian star now I'm threading on these are some Baltic amber beads how you doing babe uh, okay And item description links. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you so much for doing that. I thought roosters were really hard to get in city limits due to laws. Um, well, uh, they're hard to keep, but whenever they sell you straight run uh, chicks, they're like, yeah, good luck. Um, and our feed store is like, we were here before the city ordinance saying that you couldn't have chickens was here, so we're just going to sell you straight run chickens and they they try to do like sex linked and stuff but <laughs> randy but um actually randy we should remove the etsy one well have a look at it when it shows up okay Ooh, amy says i have around 25 to 30 chickens instead of roosters right on no longer well, using etsy servers mm, uh if you could have Etsy services to find our items that we have for sale, head over to factorycreations.com. Right on. That looks great, baby. That, that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not done. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Do you got the kettle going again? Uh -huh. If I drink mine real quick, will you make me more tea? You no, I'm chugging. I can't. It's too much tea. I'll have to pee. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, setting that down. Okay, let me see about... Um, I have a friend who's wanting to do wire wrap for his shells. This collected. I told him to look you up. Oh, well, thank you, Mandy. Since you have tutorials for all skill levels. We try to. Do you use dichroic glass? We're about to do our club's annual walk and gym show. The supplier comes every year with beautiful glass options. Um... I, I've loved wrapping dichroic in the past, and I really hope to get into making my own. I have a big stash. I will need a home pin. <laughs> Ashley, I'm using 26 gauge. Ah, that looks like it works, Randy. Yeah, that one works. Uh, could you change one more thing about it? Huh? Instead of Etsy servers, could you have Etsy services? Oh, That's just me being nitpicky. Okay, so there's a little ball of the game for one. Ah, Anna says closer piece. Right on. Yeah, uh, this was actually a tutorial that I had made done ooh, years and years and years ago, it feels like. Um, to make, we call them star flowers because some people get scared if you say it's a pentagram. But I'm like, dude, it's a star. I don't know what you want from me. Like, it's pretty and it's a star. Um, but I'm using 20, oops, 26 gauge wire. This is the silver plated silver from Parawire. And this spool is like four years old. So, uh, it's a great experiment to see how their wire holds up, uh, over time of just sitting there on the shelf. And so far this has been fantastic. It hasn't flaked, um, or anything. Hey, Snuggles. Right? No, that amber. Absolutely love. Love amber. 
Now I'm doing one out of Snowflake Obsidian. And we will be putting these up for sale uh, in our auction on March 27th. For each of these pairs of earrings, we'll just start at $5. Um, and then y'all can bid on them. Okay, and they're going to have hypoallergenic surgical steel uh, ear hooks. So we have our five beads on our wire. And I just hold here and here, and then I'm kind of just twisting it around like that. Really? Kathleen says if you have a kiln, dichroic is so easy. My first silver ring setting had to use, dich had to use dichroic. It's so pretty, but I enjoy the lapidary process much more. Right on. Um, 26 gauge. I'm hyperallergenic. Oh, Penny. And then I'm just wrapping, I'm working off the spool on this myself about three or four inches. And I'm doing one or two rotations around this wire with the working wire. These are four millimeter beads, so you can make this out of any size. I actually have one here that this one was done with like 15 millimeter beads and 18 gauge wire. Where's that 20? No, that's 18. You can also do multiple beads in between, so you could just use four millimeter but double it. Um, biggest issue with dichro is cost. Save all scraps, no matter how small. Yeah, that's um, something we've been noticing is it is like, whew, so expensive, but so pretty. <laughs> so we shall see. And then, okay, right. I'm doing a tutorial. I can't just pump it out. Um, so coming in from the side here, I'm sectioning off the bottom two and bringing my wire right on, Kathleen. I'll be sure to let you know. These are four millimeter beads, Margaret. Sectioning off the bottom two, and then I'm just flipping it over and sectioning off the top two. Because my goal here is I want us to have um, a full star on both sides without double layering in any spots. So to do that, we're gonna section off those two. I apologize for anybody who is deeply offended by my uh, workers nail polish. <laughs> oh, a dollar per square inch. Goodness. Worth it though. I mean, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So we're going to section off the bottom two now and flip it and section off the top two and flip it and section off the bottom two. I'd like to go on the opposite side of the stem wire as where we originally started. And that was on the bottom, so now we're going to go across the top. And then we're going to flip it and go across the top. And then flip it and do it. And, oh, Penny. <laughs> Just like, say it again. <laughs> and there we are at the top. And once it meets back at the top, we should have a full star on the front and back. So now I'm going to take this, just using my fingernail to hold it firm against, and twisting ever so carefully-ish until we have like three or four rotations. And I'm going to come in with my flush cutters and snip and smoosh that down. And that is a little star flower. The little leg over there is a bit wonky. That's not as tight as what I would have liked for it to be. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? But yeah, so you can kind of choose for yourself which side you think is prettier. Um, and then just have that one be the front. Okay. Um, these are going to be dangle earrings. Dangle, dangle. Now you could do them as studs, I guess, if you used a thick enough wire. Though I'd worry that this part here um, would be like weird for in your ear hole. Um, Sharon says, does Vaughn get 100% of chat donation? Actually, in the super chat, we have no way to, like, that we're aware of to track that. And I think we only get, like, 70% of it, um, after YouTube takes out its fees, which is why Randy had set us up a, um, oh, 
whatchamacallit, tip jar uh, for people who just want to donate. Um, but also, I, I highly encourage folks to, um, but I, it makes me very happy for y'all to get something for your money. Uh, so if you guys wanted to pledge on Patreon or um, like purchase uh, even the digital content or something like, I don't know, I just, I feel... I feel like there's no nothing I can do to thank you guys enough for even just being here to spend your time with us. So anything that I can give back to you guys, I'd like to. And on Patreon, even if you just pledge like a dollar, you get our patron exclusive live streams. You get um, a sneak peek previews to all of our videos. Like you get to see all of our videos up to a week early sometimes, as well as um, we feature your work in our videos if you send us pictures of it. So it's um, I don't know, just give, it, it helps me to feel like I'm, I'm thanking you properly for your generosity. <laughs> Do what, I'm such a bitter, catty little bitch. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Why are you a bitter, catty little bitch, Randy? Because everyone's on 30%, and I'm like, it's only 5% more than Etsy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a true story. It's only 5% more than what Etsy takes out. Uh, and that's only because we're lucky enough to be forced into using it. Uh, if we weren't, we'd have to be paying 15 instead of 12 in addition to all their other fees. But we are not going to be petty little bitches right now. Force is a positive change as much as we can be in this crap basket. <laughs> oh, Randy, I love you so much. <laughs> Ooh, they would be really pretty as a tree formation. But yeah, so doing just a few rotations. Yeah, I don't even know. I think I think I hugged Randy and stabbed myself um, with my own fingernail. So. What? Oh, <laughs> Penny. Ooh. Uh, ever get the feeling you should just get out of bed and assume the position? Bend over, grab ankles, and brace for impact. And I'm like, I mean, daily, but... <laughs> you don't gotta call me out on it. Um, Mandy says, random question, my favorite kind. Is there a difference between rainbow moonstone and opalite? Um, yes, and I will show you, actually. I can demonstrate. I actually just purchased some super juicy looking moonstones. Um, which I'll actually show you guys. I'd save the cards so I can show you guys where I got these from. Oh, where's my opalite at? So opalite is actually a man-made glass. Uh, I don't know why people list it as natural opalite because it's like saying natural goldstone. Um, it's a man-made glass. It's beautiful. It, it is for friggin' gorgeous. I love it. It's nasty. I've had this necklace for like eight years and never cleaned it. So give me a minute to like, yeah, you know what? This is just life now. Um, but yeah, so it's got some curled there in the middle that I need to clean out with like my old toothbrush or something but this is opalite beautiful beautiful stuff um i love that it picks up on like kind of these peachy tones and things uh you can get it in round or the crescent moons the napped crescent moons are beautiful um but yeah it, it's one of my favorite colors actually um whereas this is rainbow moonstone so the flashes in it have a very, come on camera, you can do this, have a very opalite blue look, but structurally, I believe it is very similar to labradorite in the way that causes the flashes. I just think it's like a white baby. Yeah, that's actually what I use, Amy, is um, a baby toothbrush, like the super soft. Um, so whenever the bristles start getting a little bit rough for me using it, I just clean it real good and then use it for jewelry. But, uh, so yeah, now the two of them paired together is just downright gorgeous. But, um, ah, right on, Isabel. So this is who we purchased from. I purchased from them on eBay, actually, so I don't know why they have their Etsy store. Um, I wonder how long that's going to last. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no, I know, but I'm a, I'm a salty, petty bitch too, Randy. I just... <clears throat> can't help myself um <laughs> but yeah it's super pretty what do you say would the giveaway would my giveaway be in this craft crate yes yes 
It is February one? Because I thought it was still sitting on your desk. It is sitting on my desk. It was no longer February. Okay. Yep. Yes, you're right, Daniel. It will be. Yeah, and honestly, I used to think uh, it's man-made. I don't like it. The The process that goes into making glass, I have to tell you guys, is like downright magical. It is the closest thing to true alchemy I've ever seen. Using fire to realign the, the, the molecules of physical like glass to get it to any like chemistry. It just, it's just, it's amazing. It is, it is so cool like the process that goes into making glass um it, it's it's getting to make little human made rocks um so I, i'm just as fascinated with glass uh as i am with gemstones whenever i get to see the process that goes into like you know making all the different colors and all of these different things is is mind-boggling <sighs> but yeah just to show you guys i actually I, I thought we were gonna have be able to open up some custom work so i had ordered some uh rainbow moonstones and then the custom order fell through and we just it's we're not going to be able to take on more custom work I, I just as soon as i get my bearings i try to take on more work and i can't do that right now bye angie yeah the stones arrived but it's, I, I'm chronically bad at communication, and so I need to not, I guess, do stuff that's reliant on me communicating, <laughs> like running a business. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be wrapping some of these for our upcoming auction. This one, I think, is just stunning. Such a pretty little, then the lighting in here isn't really doing it any favors. It's really washing it out. So pretty. Well, thanks. Yeah, in today's session of petting rocks with Vaughn, um, <laughs> mm, oh, mm, I love it. It's so stinking pretty. Um, are you or do you have more of your dragon eye jewelry for sale? We will have some up for sale in our uh, upcoming auction. Um, but uh, we don't have any currently made. Um, for sale. I am going to try to get some eyes made and then posted to our website to sell um, for you guys to make your own jewelry out of. So. Like, we're not confining it or anything, but December, you guys might like this out. Yeah, in no way are we complaining, but y'all truly did. Like, we have to boost, beef up our inventory because we have, for the first time in a decade, none. <laughs> we had no inventory left over after you guys. So, um. Whew. Yeah, and let's look up. I want to show you guys my favorite book for if you're learning about rocks uh, from a purely technical perspective. This is Gemstones of the World, um, newly revised and expanded third edition. Um, it has really cool, like, just cut names in the front, but you can go through and, oh, so it has an entire entry just on Amber, and it has all of their technical specs, so you can actually... Um, test some of your uh stones and it talks about where to get it from the largest deposit in the world is in kalingrad russia under 100 feet of sand is a 30 foot layer of amber containing clay the so-called blue earth and it just it talks about you know the uses you gotta stop wiggling it around so much oh sorry um All right, on. And then it has actual pictures of some examples, as well as possibilities for confusion with citrine, fluorite, well, I can't pronounce that, onyx marble, um, imitated by newly created resins, synthetic resins, and yellow glass. But so. We could read it a minute ago, but it moved it around a little and everything's pixelated. I uh, gotcha. Sorry. I'm trying to find Moonstone, though. Where would Rainbow Moonstone be? Because we can look up Labradorite for, for like, easy. Mm, Malachite. So pretty. But yeah, for the longest time, this is a book that we keep next to uh, the toilet. <laughs> because nothing like looking at some rocks. 
Yeah, if only there was an index. Let's see. But yeah, and it shows like by country. Um, where is Mother of Pearl? Moonstone, 52 and 180. Okay. Okay, feldspar group, moonstone, potassium feldspar, the ortho clay species with white shimmer, similar to moonstone, moonshine, therefore the name, and so-called, hmm, so, and then it shows the examples are 7 through 10, so 7, 8, 9, Ten. These don't look like rainbow moonstone, though. Mm, I don't see an entry for rainbow moonstone. I don't see labradorite, though. Hmm? Yeah, well, the other one was page 42, which is where it talks about... Um, the dispersion of selected gemstones, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, light dispersion, I guess. Um, like, there's a whole bunch of science in here that I don't understand. I am but an ignoramus. Um, so there's Madagascar Moonstone, trade name from all transparent ogleoclase moonstone. Madagascar with a strong blue shiller. Spectralite, Labradorite from Finland. <laughs> so it's interesting. Super duper interesting. But at the core of everything, it is a pretty rock. So I'm going to pet it and I'm going to love it and I'm going to make jewelry out of it. Um, ooh. Do it. I will show you. Okay, so we branched off the bottom. Just don't lick it. You can't stop me, Daniel. You cannot stop me. <laughs> And that was all the top, so now we do the bottom and the top and the bottom. And usually whenever I'm like, for lack of a better term, mass producing uh, <laughs> inventory, because it's like sometimes if you want to, you can only make as much money as what you have to sell. So we try to beef up our core inventory of slightly more easily replicable projects you know stuff like this that it's just it's a pretty little thing um and you can get a bunch made in a day but it's still handmade you know so justify it however you will but i'll go through and i'll make just a bunch a whole bunch in into this step um, I found a rose quartz trunk that was perfectly polished in a parking lot next to my car the other day. It wasn't scratched or anything. Ooh! Sounds like you found somebody's lost or the rose quartz decided it was time for a new home. Uh, there will be a giveaway this week, Daniel. We'll be having that at the one hour mark. Just coming up. <laughs> so, now that we have a pair, I like to use the three millimeter or one eighth inch section of my mandrel. And I was using my mandrel pliers, the smallest one, but I really preferred just a straight stick mandrel for this. And I'm getting right up in there and doing one, two, three wraps around. I'm actually gonna twist this because I want the loop to be front facing. And then I'm gonna come around. I actually prefer to use my pliers for this because it helps me feel like I'm getting just a little bit more tension on the wire. And then doing three and four rotations around. If this loop is the head and this is the body, that's the neck. I'm going to do four rotations around the neck. Real amber tastes like pancakes when you lick it. Actually, one of my favorite perfumes or uh, incenses actually is amber rosin. Like, uh, the dust left over from, like, grinding and cutting amber it smells amazing when you burn it, but it's kind of, uh, I'd rather wear it than burn it. But. Okay. And so now we've snipped that. Neighbor's car does not sound good. Hmm? The neighbor's car does not sound good. 
neighbor's car. Neighbor's car. Oh? Yeah. I wasn't hearing anything. Is it okay? Just not starting? No, it, it was going. Oh, really? It doesn't sound good. Mm. Where do you go to comment for the giveaway? Which topic? Um. Oh, the comment will be on last week's live stream, just down in the YouTube video comments. That's 225. Yep, 225. I think Randy's going to link it. But yeah, you can just comment, like, comment, um, or, you know, anything. So again, we did our three wraps, and then we're going to go one, two, three, Ooh. and four. What's up, babe? Goodness. Went to Lowe's for a resin project. Not a single respirator or filter in the place. Oof, goodness. Hmm. Not even in the paint section. Like, that's so, I mean, I don't doubt you, but man, they need to get their act together. Like, that, that's just something that they need to have anyways for if anybody's going to be painting their homes. Harbor Freight is a pretty good, if you have one in your town, uh, they usually always have, because they sell some airbrushing stuff. So you can get respirators there, pretty sure, but I would have thought that you could have gotten it at Lowe's too. Hey, Moon Muse. Uh, we are making little star flower earrings. So now that we've made these loops, have you tried engraving a stone with a glowforge yet? We haven't. Oh, I want to, though. It's honestly, it's been a matter of just finding a flat enough rock. Mmm, folks are buying filters for the coronavirus care. Mm. Uh, filters and respirators and stuff. So these are the ear hooks. I get these from either Fire Mountain Gems or Amazon, just depending on who has more in stock at the time. Um, all right, on Joyce. Well, I'm really, I really hope I can be helpful to you. So it can get some of this stuff can be really frustrating. Um, so I don't want to make it any worse on you guys. So I just opened up the little loop on the ear hook and then hooked that on. Though you could make a little bead link. Um, you could do a little gmail section. You can make a whole charm bracelet out of these. You could just, whatever you want. Really? Jane says, I can't even buy toilet paper from the supermarket because of coronavirus panic buying. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I'm partially, uh, guilty of not coronavirus panic buying, but like I watch these nature shows before bed and they're talking about this, uh, near earth object in space that like in 2026 i don't know don't quote me on it is going to come pretty close and there's a very 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 low chance that it's going to hit the earth at all but if it goes through this one part of like a gravitational field then seven years later it's going to hit us and i'm like oh man that would suck because there's like a whole bunch of crap just floating out in space and i'm like please don't drop a meteor on the space um but also like I don't know, um, my mom and stepdad are both truck drivers, um, and they talk about, like, you know, so they get kind of an inside peek on uh, the logistical perspective of moving goods, and they're like, with a lot of the, you know, when California was on fire, like, food prices rose up, and there's some stuff that is just not even, like, just in the past couple of years, but just in the past couple of months is very, very expensive, so... I am beefing up my in-home stock of non-perishable food um, and just, you know, stuff that it's good to keep a three-week pantry anyways, and I'm just trying to beef it up to about a six-month pantry and then kind of work from there. That always comes the closest to the time. It will hit in time. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody always thinks it's going to be, you know, when they're there to see it. But I'm like, there's just, you know, or if people get... You know, somebody had mentioned in our uh, Saturday live stream, they're like, well, if we get quarantined to our homes, I'm like, you know, that's very fair and valid. These are a lot of very real concerns. But it's just good preparedness anyways. Like, we try to have an emergency fund for, you know, what if, what if I got hurt and I couldn't make anything for six months? You know, if I got a hand injury or something. Um, gotcha, Lisa. Yeah. After working in the medical industry for 30 years, she wasn't scared. Right on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and if you look up the rates of, like, uh, oh, you know, how many people, 
you know, or how many fatalities from the flu each year, just the regular old flu. Um, oh, yeah, that's how we, whenever we chunk it into our inventory, I just thread one ear hook through the hole of the other ear hook and then put it into our pile and keep on crafting. <laughs> Emergency fund is my chickens and rabbits and my knowledge of making things from scratch and foraging. Skills will keep you longer than stores. Yeah, I'm right there with you, tigers. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. I'm very sorry. But we have our chickens and our rabbits. I actually, guys, I baked bread from scratch without a bread machine for the first time. Yeah, I did it a second time. Well, for the first time, it actually tasted good, though. <laughs> Because the first time I made it, I used way too much flour, and it felt like eating um, just the densest brick of partially cooked dough I have ever eaten. Um, so, but the second one uh, was much better. <laughs> so that that's pretty cool. But yeah, oh, and then and then I ate an entire loaf of bread. <laughs> so I don't know how my weight loss plans are gonna go, you guys. But oh my god, fresh made carbs, so yummy. Uh, and I looked at Randy and I was like, I think I might be gluten intolerant. When I eat an entire loaf of bread, I get an upset stomach. And he was like, really? Is that how this works? And I'm like, surely so. Ooh. Randy's, uh, I have the same problem with sushi. When I eat 80 pieces, I throw up. <laughs> oh no, Ashley, well, get yourself a uh, combat crumpets. <laughs> Get yourself a nap. We'll be here on the replay. Oh. Yeah, and, and some of this stuff. We're at the hour mark? We are at the hour mark. Okay. Don't go to bed yet. Don't go to bed yet. We're about to do a giveaway. Um, let me get this guy bound off, and then we will just roll on over. So, last chance, if you guys want to go leave a comment on last Tuesday's video um, to put your name in the hat, we are giving away another Craft Along kit today so we have another little can't nap need live stream Ooh. Tash just says I'm making bread and three times a week I think we're actually gonna get there because then I made hole in toast with our homemade bread for the and oh it was so much fun okay are y'all ready I see like we're much make everything from scratch right on it's it's a night it's work but it's like you're either working to make it or you're working to pay for it already made so tracy says i never win but i keep trying there's lots of people who have commented and never won so you're not alone tracy but may the odds ever be in your favor bread is love bread is life let's go over wait what you say how do you put the comment look at my phone last week and couldn't find the comment spot uh rainy says you scroll all, all the way down to the very <laughs> Hit you dueling chairs <laughs> come at me bro i've got a, like a warranty on this one if you break it we just get a new one yeah but mine doesn't have a warranty <laughs> oh okay let me get the thing that we're gonna give away <laughs> okay this one i am gonna say is not our most impressive uh craft kit to have given away because we scavenged something out of it yeah. so you are just getting <clears throat> a bag of cabs with an earring kit whoever wins sorry <laughs> sorry your free stuff isn't fancier <laughs> okay so we are at randomcommentpicker.com we started with 124 we are now up to 100 and i think that might be the most comments we've ever gotten i don't know on a live stream are y'all ready? Do you remember that time I did the wrong video and it only had like three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't we redo it? Yeah. Okay. Did you okay. click start? No. We're clicking start. Ready? We're clicking start. Kim Brown says, I love the dragon eye. Congratulations, Kim. Yeah. Win a win out I have no idea who was going to go take a nap. So I'm sorry if Ashley. I kept you up. <laughs> so false hopes. Brown. Kim, if you could send us, if you're watching this, um, please send us an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with where you would like for us to ship it to, and we will get it shipped out to you, Kim. 
So congratulations on winning. And for everybody else, better luck next week, I guess. Like, <laughs> we'll be having another giveaway in next week's live stream. So uh, hopefully you'll win next week. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, get out of here. Okay. Why don't you want to hang out here? Get out of here. Get off my lawn. No. <laughs> you got stuff to do. I know. Do y'all want to see my cabbages? Oh my gosh, really? What? They're impressive. I, I'm i pretty proud of my cabbages. I was like, dude, how far back am I last? <laughs> this is from last week. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it was super uh, sketch trying to explain to the guy that we are not growing weed. We are growing cabbages. <laughs> but we've We've been using these grow lights that we got on Amazon. Um, they've been phenomenal. Like, my stuff is not even leggy, you guys. Like, at all. My parsley. Hey, little parsley. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, in here we've got our tomatoes and bok choy. Cabbage, 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 cabbage. So... I'm just, I'm trying to vent them a little bit, but we grow them in these totes to keep the cats out because the cats are monsters. Um, like to eat just the tip. Yeah, they, they just actually, em Ember likes to lay on them. Yeah. It was gorgeous. He liked to, it was my mom's cat. Where'd my chair go? Oh, my chair and my tripod. Uh, so we, we keep them in the totes. Um, They were, I think it was like, Gosh, was it fifty dollars for six strips? Uh, sixty, I think. It was sixty dollars for six roughly, strips. Ten dollars a strip. But we put three three strips on the lid of each tote and zip tied it in, um, and that has been working phenomenally. Uh, and for the six strips, it only uses one outlet, so. Which is way better than your previous setup. Yeah, my previous setup, like each light used one outlet, and I had like three lights per. It was. Um, what state are you in if you're growing veggies inside? We are, we live in Missouri. Oh, crap. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, oh, and I got something in my eye. We live in Missouri. We're in gardening zone 5B. Um, and I just, it's never too early to plant, plant your seeds the first time. Um, so, <laughs> that's kind of... I may have to creep. I paid sixty dollars each for a three foot by three foot for my peppers garden stuff, and so I can let's ride on. No, I really liked these. They're just little uh, strips that had like they had some double sided tape option, but I was like, mm. so I just zip tied it, and that seemed to work really, really well. Because since mine are in totes, the humidity seemed to bother the double sided tape. Oops, sorry, I don't mean to bump the tripod. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on crafting. Hey, Deanna. How's it going? <laughs> Pretty good with that chair. <laughs> well, thank you. Stacy says, I'm in New Hampshire and I start inside in early April. Right on. <laughs> yeah. She's pretty far north, though. Yeah. Going to attempt a hydroponic setup in my basement for my Luffy to keep them from cross-pollinating. Right on. Yeah, whenever we're trying to save seeds and I go out there and I put little, like, brown paper bags over the, uh, like the, uh, oh, the, the squash flowers. I'm like, okay, put your condoms on. So. <laughs> um, because our Camp Craft Long is so far away, I would recommend holding off to buy your ticket until you can afford the one that you want. Okay, Mandy says, I'm thinking about buying the $50 Camp Craft ticket, but hope to afford the $350 Masterclass one. Uh, I forget if I'll be able to transfer tickets. Um, we don't know exactly how to transfer the $50 to the $350, like how to kind of just roll that in. Um, so we have tons of spots left. Uh, it's still, at this point, a year and a bit out. Um, so... Uh, and we'll let you guys know whenever, like, we're at, like, okay, we've got 25 spots left, or we've got 10 spots left, or we're, um, so it's, we'll, we'll keep you guys in the loop for sure, um, but, 
uh, I, I don't really know how to advise on that. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to be able to do that short of just like refunding and getting that juggled around. Yeah. Randy recommends holding off until you know which ticket you're going to get. <clears throat> Jane says, my mother-in-law will keep the seeds from a tomato she's eating, plant the seeds, and they grow crazy big. Right on. With some of the hybrid varieties, uh, sometimes you don't know what you're going to get, though. But, uh, hey, a mystery breed tomato is better than no tomato, so <laughs> I dig it. I was also thinking the transfer would be to another person. Ah, gotcha. <clears throat> um, in which case, uh, we'll, we'll be coordinating that probably on Discord uh, to transfer your tickets to another person. And that's for our $50 or $350 at like the master class. Um, and that way you can find somebody who um, wants to take the class and then they'll just, I don't know. We'll get the spot filled and... Right. It's until we sell the bare minimum tickets, this is still kind of not really happening. Right. Yeah, we still haven't hit our ticket minimum uh, to make sure that it even happens. Because at this point, everybody who orders may actually just get refunded um, if we're not able to sell enough tickets to to make it. Ah, gotcha, Jane. She recycles the original tomato she grew. Yeah, that's that's the way to go about it. What's a ton of hot browns? Is that? Is that poop? <laughs> so my husband picked up a ton of hot browns and a tomato plant grew from real to P-U-C-K-E? Huh. Okay, so now I'm using a blue lace agate bead. One... Are you still planning on attending the bead and button show in Milwaukee? Very loose plans. Um, there were some immediate needs with the house that needed, like we're in, we're not able to use our downstairs bathroom right now. Um, like we have to turn the toilet on and off manually <laughs> if we're going to use it. And then the shower um, is at the point that like it, it's got to get fixed. It's doing uh, damage to the walls. Like we need to get it sealed up. Um, and then also... Our bread tomatoes gravy in hand. Huh, right on. Um, Sam needs to get his benign tumor removed. Um, there's just, there's a lot of stuff that is taking precedence over uh, getting to go take classes and stuff. So, um, at least traveling that far away. So, uh, we're still thinking about it. Uh, we don't know if it's in our budget or not. So... And I'm just, once you get kind of the muscle memory down of these stars, you can just pay very minimal attention to it and just pump them out. Well, it's skip to the beads every time, right? Yep. Well, and it's kind of an alternate of, you know, towards the top and towards the bottom. So, I don't know. Let's experiment and see if it works other ways. But yeah, whenever I prepped up this project, I just grabbed, um, went through all my bead trays and found all the colors that I wanted to make and took out 20 beads of each one. So if one of these drops, I'm going to go chasing it because some of these were wiping out the last of my inventory. Uh, Melody, I'm using a 26 gauge, though I have done this in 24 gauge quite successfully before. I've just used up all my 24 gauge wire. Um... And I, I recommend using a gauge that's proportionate to your beads. So like earlier in the stream, I had showed um, this piece, which is a 15 millimeter bead with an 18 gauge wire, which I could have gotten away with using a 16 gauge. Um, but meh, it was what I had. Oh, Ashley, that sounds lovely. Hey, Judy, how's it going?
And I just like working off the spool because I don't know exactly how much wire it uses um, to make one of these. And that way it helps cut back on how much waste we have. But yeah, I feel like if we do the top two, okay, and then the bottom two, it makes it to where we'd have to double overlay. So do it. So if you go the top two and then the bottom two, and then the top two, and then the bottom two, it keeps you from overlapping where you've already worked. Which if that's the style that like the kind of look that you're going for, by all means do it. Like if it holds together and doesn't like cause you pain to wear, then you did it right. So I can't emphasize enough, make jewelry to your standard, not mine, not anybody else's. So if you want every single thing to be meticulously just perfect in every every single way, do it. If you don't mind if it looks like an organic tangle that grew, do that. <laughs> and explore all the spectrum in between. I was today that I forgot to change from chain mail to wire wrap kits. Has that caused a problem? Hey Deb, um, you have been receiving dealer's choice kits. Um, if you could go ahead and transfer into wire wrapping, that'll help. Because uh, so far the dealer's choice, and that would, that would be a huge help. Um, but yeah, for anybody, um, out of the loop, uh, we've removed, like, we've canceled our chain mail tiers, uh, or discontinued them, I guess is the term. Um, ever since the, uh, the price of the blades for the Ringinator increased and then became just impossible, like, they're always out of stock, um... You know, so that everybody else with the Ringinator is also like, well, I guess I'll buy them up when I can. Um, so we've stopped producing our own rings, and in which case it's a much better deal for y'all to just go to the people that we were buying from, like Chainmail Joe or the Ring Lord, uh, and just buy your rings directly from them. Um, okay, so there's a little loop around, around the top, around the bottom. Around the top. Am I missing any questions, Randy? Or... No, you're on. Right on. But yeah, just as a reminder, if y'all just popped in, if you could do the at and then Yvonne Williams, just like how my screen name shows up, it highlights it in orange and really helps me to keep track of your comments. And that way I know if you guys are talking to me or if you're talking to each other or what. Yep, just like that, Daniel. Thank you. But yeah, because otherwise I'm watching what I'm doing, and if I see the orange, then I look up at the screen um, to see the comments. Also, we did uh, get most of our website completely up to date. We have a few more things to kind of tweak and change around uh, over on the website, so if you guys want to check that out, um, that'd be cute, because I really need to find out. Do what? Do what, Randy? Yeah, yeah, we did. Gosh, my brain was fried. Just fried egg brain. Um, <laughs> ever cut off the wrong tail when doing these? Only once. <laughs> and I've been very careful ever since then. <laughs> uh, how long is the wire at the beginning? Um, I work off the spool, so I don't know how much. Um, ah, gotcha, Jane. Um, what about Fire Mountain Gems? They're pretty good about, uh... I read them from my phone, like you can't see, but like on my screen, they're right here. <laughs> like, it's like this big. <laughs> like, this is not how this works. <laughs> here, I can I can do a thing. What? I can take a picture in my tablet and then show them the picture. Who is your web host? Weebly. Does the web host handle the store for your website or you'll be using something else like Square Store? I don't know enough about what I'm doing to answer that question. <laughs> like... Um, <laughs> how do I take a picture? Um, hey, Randy. Oh, I found it. Never mind. Can you sketch out your designs for creating or do you just go for it? Judy, sometimes either. Um, I, I like sketching them out, but then I don't always follow. So this is, how do I take a picture? Okay. 
Um, how do I find the gallery? Okay, so, um, so this is, let me make sure there's no like baby pics. Okay, um, this is what my screen looks like. So this is my cell phone and it's tripod recording the stuff. And this is how much of y'all's comments I see at a time. So, yay, <laughs> that, that's, that's what I see. Um, hey Eva, to em enter the free giveaways, um, you'll like, since we already did the giveaway for today, you'll want to, um, leave a comment on this live stream after the stream is over. Like, give it a good 30 minutes. Yeah, like, give it 30 minutes to, like, process, because, like, right now there's the live chat, and so if you close that, and then, like, if you scroll all the way down, you could add a public comment, I think, after the live stream is over. Um... So, I hope that's helpful to you guys. Um, when I is asking who's doing the transaction processing, or is it part of your Weebly package, or is it a Square Embed? Um, they have the option through PayPal or Square Embed. I think. Sorry. Right now we have it just through PayPal. Yeah, yeah, right now we have it just through PayPal, but we were thinking about activating the Square as well, because um, we have a Square account for whenever we're taking booth payments. But uh, some people panic whenever um, they have to use PayPal. Um, boop, boop, boop. The length of the wire that you used to make the loop part. Ah, um, this is four to five inches. It's, I'd always rather give myself um, a little bit more than a little, than a little not enough. What pro is progress on the kiln in your class working? Or did the roof <laughs> derail that for the time being? The roof derailed everything because we needed water to stop coming into the house. Ah, uh, thanks, Magic. Um, but we are the same gentleman who came and fixed our roof, um, or patched it, and will be fixing, fixing it later, uh, is going to be running a wire for us as well as redoing our bathroom. So we have a lot of our budget is completely tangled up in that for the next, like, in home repairs for probably the next, like, six months. Um... Which I almost, Randy's going to say no because it's horribly embarrassing, but I almost want to show you guys the, yeah, see. Uh, can I show them on my vlog? No. What about a before and after picture? Maybe. Okay. I can show you guys after it doesn't look like that. <laughs> like, Randy is that embarrassed. And I, I don't blame him. It's a nightmare. But if you've, seen Stranger if you've seen Stranger Things, our bathroom looks like the upside down because it has, like, rotting wood and moldy shower curtains for walls. Um, so it's, uh, so we go, we actually go to the Y in shower because it's so rough in there. Um, or we use the, uh, the tub upstairs, but Randy hates taking baths. He's like, if I'm dirty, I don't want to sit in it. And I'm like, I get that. Uh, so we'll go and shower at the Y, but it's, we really need to get this shower fixed. Um, yeah, no worries, Eva. Oh, no, okay, I'll do another one and be nice and slow for you, Lavender. Now, I do have, it's one of my oldest tutorials. I do have a, if you want to talk to Vaughn from, like, five years ago, um, you can go watch my, uh, Starflower tutorial. Starflower was one of your first, but mm -hmm. from years ago. Was it really? Yes. Might have, yeah, we were still at Melora, weren't we? <sighs> Hey, wild child. <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad that you found me. What's you up to? I like showers. Would love to have a nice soap in the bathtub. Yeah, we got a big old, like, we got a beefy tub. Randy and I can both fit in it, but he gets super worried that we're going to fall through the floor. Um, which, I can't blame him because the floor upstairs is, like, falling through. Um, so he won't let me get in the tub with him. But I'm like, dude, you in the tub, you can't stop me. <laughs> I, it's not me, it's the bath bombs that make it all greasy. Sure, sure. So he's slipping and sliding me, and I get out the tub, and I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry. It's a little window into our day-to-day uh, -day life. Oh, do they? I had no Good on Parawire. I'm glad for them that more and more people are carrying their products. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Mima. Uh, I am making little star flowers that will become earrings. 
I'm just kind of hanging out with y'all and answering any questions and chatting while we make inventory. And I want to thank Randy for moderating, as well as Mr. Daniel. Yeah, for whoever aggressively asked, where's Randy? Who's this Randy person? <laughs> On my uh, goodbye Etsy video. Um, he's just a figment of our imagination, but that Randy... This is about as involved as he likes to be in my videos. Can you say, hey, Randy? Hey, Randy. Yeah, and that's Ember. She's my cat. One of my cats. Well, she's not mine. I'm hers. Hey, Ember. We're looking at you. Who's a good girl? Yeah, she has no concept of how cameras work. So pretty girl. I love you. Yeah. She's my boss. We work for her. Everything we do in our life is to make her have a better quality of living. <laughs> <laughs> and then Callie's probably asleep on the bed still, and Sam and Z are on their puppy beds. So. Oh, did he? Is it even on? Oh, poor Sam. <laughs> hey, little girl. I love you. I do. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Okay, so I'm going to do another Snowflake Obsidian. So just threading on one. And this one's for you, Lavender, if you're still here. We're going <laughs> to... Three. Four. And five. Excellent. I counted correctly initially. I just found some earring backs, and I'll see. They'll be here days before my market, I hope. Ooh, right on, Jane. Yeah, it's always kind of... Oof. To try to um, keep stuff in stock or get it there in time. Okay, so, sorry. Let me get the camera. Well, Ember's, like, distracting me. I'm not going to blame it on Ember, but she's bumping her head on my leg and making me pet her. She said, company-mandated snuggle break. She's a good girl. Are you a good girl? I bet you are. I'd love you even if you weren't. Well, I'm glad that you are. Okay. Then petting the cat for just a second. Veneer? I have no idea. Um, anyone know after making a cut circle veneer, do you run through the pasta machine? Hmm. I'm not sure what you mean. Okay. So, to demonstrate for you, Lavin. She wants in my lap. I have to let her up. There's no room for you, but I'll let you up here. What if I move this plant? You love me if I move to this plant? She's like, no, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have our beads. Her lap tray is up in the living room so that she can elevate her right up to sit on our laps on the couch. Uh, so we're, I'm taking this and I'm holding kind of not super firm but just folding this around because you don't want it so tight that the beads are grinding up against each other um but you don't want it so loose that everything's gonna be all floppy and weird so uh experiment and then bending that up at a little bit of an angle so that we can wrap around one or two times i don't know but she was she had it again last night Yeah, you were asleep. I, I thought I had woken you by being, because I was calling to her because she was meowing. Huh. But she'll get like little clumps. Of, actually, that's what she wants is some wire. I'll give you some wire in just a sec, baby. Okay, so we'll do across two and across two from the top to the bottom and then across two. Mmm. Uh, you can rub it, uh, run it through the pasta machine, Deborah. It depends on what effect you you want to get. It can often have the tendency to distort, though. Um, we live in sorry, uh, the all caps. Um, what's happening? Brand promised you my food shop for me, as the me's been awful lately. He even turned up, so I che checked, and he said too busy. Why promise? And ah, gotcha, Bev. I don't know. So I'll put together on the backing. Um, I live in Missouri. 
wild child. Sorry, please be patient with me. I see like this much of y'all's comments at a time. And I'm super distracted by my cat. Um, but yeah, we just keep alternating because we don't want to double overlap where we've already wrapped. Yeah, zip ties, bread ties, and chunks of wire snippings and meow loudly. Yep. <laughs> Ember likes to do that, but she'll meow because she'll be like, where are you guys? Um, and then I'm going to wrap three times. She does it when she wakes up from a nap and we're not around. Mm -hmm. Or whenever she's captured one of your projects mm -hmm. and wants to show off. Yeah, like look what I captured. Which is better than Callie bringing snakes home. Yeah. Okay. And then I just swish that. And then that's a little star flower. And then we finish it. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how to do that in just a sec. So let me, I'm going to sacrifice just a little bit of wire to the cat because I love her. Um, do your animals follow you everywhere complaining loudly when you come home from trips? Uh, Sam and Z get super excited. Also, pro tip on how to make a cat toy. Boom. Okay. She's at her food bowl. Yeah. Ember. Back, girl. Back. <laughs> um, Sam and Z, they don't complain. They're just so happy to see us. They're, we have very kind animals. Um, the, they just they just act grateful. They, it's like, what colors are you doing your bathroom in? Um, well, we're not, like, uh, we're just, we're all the guts in the back need replaced and randy very adamantly wants a different yes, shaped toilet i asked him i was gonna get randy a telescope for our anniversary so that we could from from the surface of the earth visually travel the, the universe together and he was like no i want a toilet and i said all right you are a simple man of simple needs we will get you a toilet so uh, you know, and I'm just sitting here, Randy, watching the mailman smoke in his vehicle. Oh. Are they supposed to do that? I don't know. Okay. Okay. <gasps> um, and then we're just getting walls put into the shower. So the rest of the bathroom's not necessarily getting. Hey, you know what we're doing? Want some wire? She's like, why would you have kicked it? I didn't want you to kick it. You gonna go get it? Maybe? Age old question. <laughs> toilet or to telescope? <laughs> to toilet or to telescope. Um, yeah, she is so not interested in the toy I made her. Um... Cynthia says, oh, that's sweet, I think. Um, the tumor on Sam is on his side. Yeah, she's like, permission to play? She's still, she's still contemplating the wire chunk. Where my Sam dog got? Hey, Sam, I'm going to show them your tumor. You ready? Let's turn this heated blanket on. Uh -huh. Ah! Jenny, Chris. <laughs> <sighs> I scared the shit. Those are Shredder. Hey, Sam, mommy loves you. You want to lay down so they can see your big... This is his tumor. We named it... What did we name it? Pastulio. Pastulio. But he's got a big old... It doesn't seem to pain him. He can't really scratch around it. Oh, it's a good scratch scratch. He loves it when I scratch the underside of his tumor. That was our shredder. Um, but yeah, it's, it's huge. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. And uh, we are calling the vet after today's live stream actually to get a quote on uh and we've already had it aspirated they said it's benign but it's so large at this point that poor sam dog like he limps funny it's bothering his hip um 
Uh, they said they'd be able to remove it. It's just a budgeting thing. So uh, we're going to find out how much that's going to cost and um, get it scheduled for. Uh, yeah, it's really big. It's doubled in size probably since last month. Um, so I'm going to take Sam Dog in. And yeah, we're super grateful that it's not cancerous. Um, so we're going to go get that taken care of. Well, I just feel really fortunate that. The vet is his favorite place. It is not his favorite place. Um, she he actually hates the vet um, than anything in the world. Uh, you know what? I think Ember's a little bit of a wire prude. She only likes the twenty eight gauge. No. Yeah, she just left that sitting there. I made her one the other day at a twenty eight gauge, and she went ballistic. But uh, I'm really glad that the auctions have been going well enough that we can. Yeah, you know, we can be like, okay, yeah, we're gonna go, we can go get this taken care of. You know, we're gonna have to budget and like spread it out over a few months, but um, I don't know. I hope they'll be able to work out payments. Um, we'll see. Because if they can work out payments, it's gonna determine, you know, if we can get it done sooner rather than later once we have it all saved up. <laughs> 28 gauge might feel good when battling it with the paws. Yeah. But no, she she left that just on the floor and went upstairs to take a nap. She's like, tisk. Okay. And it doesn't really matter if you start on the top or the bottom. It's just about consistently alternating between the two. Deborah says, have they let you know that they can't always put in stitches that stay? Found out the hard way with our dog. It ends up in open wound, but does heal. Gotcha. Yeah, we're going to have to just play that by year and see how that goes. Fortunately, he's an old enough of a feller that he's not a, he's not a rambunctious pumpy, puppy anymore. Yeah, right, Tanya? She says, no matter how much money you get moving in, it will find a way to flow out faster. Yeah. Oh, right on. Rob Child's from Kansas. Very cool. Now live in Washington. Do an auction and the extra profit towards tumor surgery for Sam. Yeah, we're hoping so. It's We have about 10 years of not making very much money to, make, to uh, offset. So we're getting paid out of debt. We're trying to get saved up for making Camp Craft Along happen, just all sorts of stuff. Hey, Sparky, these are four millimeter beads. We had to keep t-shirts on our PR Daisy when we had her tumor removed. She was not pleased. Right on. Sam's pretty good at, actually surprisingly good at wearing clothes. So, <laughs> hey, Judy, we are making star flowers that we'll be making into earrings. <clears throat> Oh no, Sarah, you'll get it. It take um maintaining consistent tension can really help. Cause otherwise they kind of come out looking like floppy, you know? <laughs> Jane says make Randy give up his toilet and get Sam the surgery. We actually think because the guy said he's not gonna be able to do the bathroom until like May. So uh we're actually on a back to start with. do what? My toilet's on a back burner to start yeah, with. Yeah, Randy says his toilet's on a back burner to start with. Um but, uh, so yeah, Sam is, after having gotten the roof patched to keep the rain out, um, Sam is our next financial priority until something else raises its head. But, um, but yeah, it's, I, I like to maintain the tension. So I'm actually pulling, if you can kind of see where it puts pressure on my finger over here and pulling enough and getting that fold going. Ooh, cranberry bread. Oh, I can actually, we can do that now. Now that I, I know how to work with yeast. Um, she seems kind of good. Uh, yeah, like an orange cranberry bread. Nah, you can leave the orange. Yeah. All right, I'll just do cranberry bread for you then. But yeah, and then you just fold and it's getting that bend. Because then once it's bent, it kind of stays. Um, Daisy's tumor cost, but it was in the memory bones. Okay. Hooey, okay. That's all right. We'll figure it out. He's our pupper. It's worth it. 
It's just money. It's just money. <laughs> Tanya says, nah, orange cranberries, the tits. I want some tit, right? <laughs> I have to take off, but I'll try to remember to post pics to Discord of the Dragon Eyes. Ah, right on. I'd love to see those, Mandy. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I own a couple button machines and thousand parts if you want to give away can't craft along watches. Someone does the art for a couple of them. Oh, right on. That's very generous of you, Molly. But we were actually gifted a uh, a button machine um, by our good friends uh, Ben and Tracy with World of Strange. It was part of our Christmas present when we went and visited them. But thank you very much for that. We'll keep that in mind. Oh, wow. Joyce, that's really generous of you. Um, first, I'm going to ask that in no way do I want anybody to put themselves out. Like, it's uh, we didn't bring up Sam Dog or anything like that to try to get donations. Like, it's um, th the best way that y'all can support if you want to help. It would be to maybe get yourself a gift at our auction um, later in the month. But Randy did set up our tip jar. Uh which we do have a link to. Um, if you go to like our website, there's a whole page. Judy, oh, Judy. <laughs> Thank you so much. But, but really, like, uh, I think I think we're going to be able to swing it. Yeah, it's. I know. But uh, but yeah, if you guys would like to um to show your generosity, uh, we do have our tip jar, because uh. You know, Randy had done the math and he's like uh, if somebody donates $10 we only get 7 of that and YouTube gets 3 um, what to do with all this formality beads in my stash right Helen but no and these are super cute too and you don't have to make them into earrings like they could just be a really like petite pendant like um, if I were making these into a pendant um, I'd make this wire significantly longer, like maybe, ooh, six to eight inches. Um, and then I'd use a thicker part of, like, actually, I'd go in the next size up in Mandrel or use a pen. And instead of having the loop for this to hook the earring through, I'd make the loop big enough, um, Um, make the loop big enough for chain to go through. Sora Wolf says, hey Vaughn, this might be a subject you don't want to talk about, but do you have thoughts about YouTube monetization? And I know you have other ways of getting donations, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not certain how you mean, but uh, I know that I personally, I don't take sponsorships um, because I don't want to be told what to say in my videos and I don't want to be held accountable to anything that's like, you made us look bad because you said tit bread in your live stream <laughs> or something like that. Um, so we don't take money that way. Um, our YouTube monetization, we are actually making less um, with over 126 or however many, with over 100,000 subscribers than what we did when we had 10,000 subscribers. So I don't know if that's just the way the ads have changed, the postman's coming, so the dogs are gonna freak out here in just a sec, so turn your volume down. Um, and then, no, you're good, Tanya. And I mean, and I don't wanna have to censor myself to be more marketable. Yeah, no, straight up. Um, but it's also, I'm not gonna be putting an ad every three minutes uh, in our videos. There's ways that we could have adapted our structure for the modern YouTube, you know, uh, analytics and stuff to be making more money. Um, but I don't want our stuff to be painful for y'all to watch because of the ads. And it's like, as much as I am a business-minded person, there's also the part of me that it's like, I would love to go on a road trip and not see a billboard every like hundred feet. Like I would love 
to be able to go and read somebody's vlog without having to close 30 freaking pop-ups. And, you know, it's like, I don't think we exist in this world to be marketed to. I'd love to just look up a recipe without having to get the history of 18th century. Well, right. And it's, um, <laughs> you know, some of that stuff's interesting, Randy. I don't mind that as much as I mind getting stuck scrolling on a, an ad in the middle of the thing because it was strategically placed. I didn't say you, I said me. Yeah. But it's, and I don't, it's knowing how much that, that bothers me, I don't want to be part of the problem that I see as a problem. It's like, and it's like, y'all aren't here for me to just fleece money out of. Like, you know, I want to give you guys in exchange, you know, if you want, you know, to, to buy something, I'll, I'll have a nice product and stuff, but it's, we're here to hang out. We're here to learn stuff. We're here to, you know, have a community and have this sense of, you know, like people, like-minded people just hanging. Um, and we've been very lucky that we've been able to, you know, to pay our bills off of that. But, um, if I were in this to get rich, I'd be doing it completely differently. Uh, so, I don't know, that's my thoughts on that. Oh yeah? Quite a while. What's that? Making an incredibly long, like, 10 to 12 hour long video that has ads every three minutes. Yeah. And just muting, you know, my, my video player, hitting it before I go to sleep, <laughs> and seeing how much money that generates. You know? Shit fire. <laughs> well, thanks, Deborah. I'm glad you think so. I just think I have a pretty shitty attitude most of the time, but it's I try to not just function on my default mode of grumpy money grubbing capitalist. Um you're right, Penny. Hey Bob and Weave. <laughs> That's a really cute name. The Bob and Weave. Part of being PD sharing with each other if you need something we help. I got you, Tracy, and I appreciate you. Because that's, I could be sitting here crafting all day long, but it's y'all that make our community what it is. So thank you guys for that. Which way do the earrings hang when wearing them? Uh, whichever way you would like. Uh, you kind of get to choose which way, like front ways or back ways. Well, and we just finished that bin, so now I'm going to do this whole pile into earrings. And so we'll address that. If you guys make a video like that, many of us would put it on play before bed. And we just might. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure YouTube would catch on to us. I might make, like, a ten-hour loop of... Rules. Do what? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's extorting something or, uh, exploiting. That's, it's, it's exploiting. Um, is ever a good idea for long-term, uh, success. But if we made a 10 hour loop of my guitar music yeah. or something that's actual like content, if you want some background noise, um, we could do it on that. Like four hours in, they just start talking and there's a lion in the corner. Yeah, just random ASMR crap. Don't look at the lion if he sees you. Don't look at the lion if he sees you. <laughs> no, no. And it suddenly becomes horror genre. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, so I'm using the three millimeter. Start a live cam. This is what live streaming is. <laughs> I don't get any more live than this. <laughs> I do not get more live than this. Um. <coughs> excuse me. Um. Not gonna catch on your offering a video. Have people choose to watch it? That's true. That's true. I just, if it's too good to be true, then, um, <laughs> then it probably is. Um, start it as horrors as Tracy. <laughs> so I'm just wrapping four times around. You're not scared of the lion. You're a superhero. <laughs> Captain Kickass. Oh, well, thank you, Mary Hart. I'm really glad that you guys are so kind. Okay. So, I've wound the wire around, if the loop is the head and the beads are the body, around the neck. 
and I'm smushing that down. And so you could have it hang this way, so it would hang sideways. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. I prefer to have it hang this way, so I'm actually going to feed the mandrel through to help the loop hold its shape. And then just turn it to have it face the way that I want. And then whenever you put it on the ear hook, you just decide which side you want to have facing forward. And that would be if this is hooking into your ear, then you hook. The auction this month is on March 27th, Randy says. I guess somebody asked. Or you can flip it and have the other side face out. I, like, I personally thought the other side was nicer. So we put it on there, and then we close the thing. Judy says, I need to go for now, but I want to say I enjoy your videos. I appreciate how you are. Oh, well, thanks, Judy. Thank you a lot for hanging out with us, too. Sing for us, Mom. What do you want? What are you going to sing? <laughs> that was another thing. Somebody commented. They were like, please, for the love of all that is holy and merciful, sing a different song. And I was like, can't. Same song? Same song? Next song? <laughs> Do you make your own ear hooks? Um, sometimes I made these earrings that I, oh no, Daniel. Um, these ones that I'm wearing, I made my own hooks out of uh, enameled para wire and they've been holding up phenomenally. I kind of smushed them because they were loose in my purse, but that's my fault, not the wires. Um, but it's enameled and it hasn't been turning my ear holes green. Um, can we get a copy of your background music? Sure. <laughs> Well, I was thinking for our patrons, I just put the file oh, and, well, yeah. and they can put it like and do whatever they want. So, <laughs> gummy bears. Did you get copyright struck for reading a book? I don't know. Um, because <coughs> I don't. Have, you have control over what kind of ads, correct? Yeah. Well, no. No. Google puts whatever ads it's are like pertinent to the viewer. Between the uh, little pop-up ads yeah. and the uh, ones that actually interrupt the video. Uh-huh. You have control over that? I think so. So what if you read a bedtime story in an ASMR <laughs> Are you maybe? It just adds out the wazoo. I'd want to work with the author. Uh, I was just thinking any if I could make up the story. <laughs> Do it. Um, I don't know if it would be okay for me to read somebody else's published book well that's what like I'm that's a gray area for me could you get copyright struck i don't know i don't know enough about that i don't know either but i don't think the world's ready for the true happening of what no what started no. christmas <laughs> Oh, thanks, Cheryl. I do. I think they're super stinking cute. They're little star flower earrings. Um, there's a question that was a really good one. That um, night, Bev. Alexandria says, "How do you do your shop on your website?" Hey, Randy. Hey. May I sit where you're sitting and show them our computer screen? Okay. <coughs> That's my wall. That's not your wall. It is. I get that while in the divorce. It's not true. It's not true. We talked about this. <laughs> okay. I'm coming through, so make sure if you're looking at it. Like, is our bank and everything? Right, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> okay. I was like, what kind of weird stuff? <clears throat> I don't know, just. We watch some weird stuff. We do watch some weird stuff. Okay, let me get the camera. This is our super high tech. Those are skulls. Yeah, they're for um, shaping stuff over. So here we are, which thank you so much, Judy. You're, holy smokes, like everybody who's donated today. Randy, you've been in top chat this whole time. I've also gone <laughs> oh, no. to your account like six oh, okay. times to edit things so, too. So <laughs> this is our Weebly store. And this is what it looks like to... Um, edit like this is their editing stuff so you can that's our home page we can click home like we can go to pages over here <clears throat> and this is just through Weebly now <coughs> do what, honey? Tease 
stop. Okay. Would you mind getting us some? I'll get us some waters. I'll be right back, you guys. I guess I'll get the, <coughs> the thing so that you can do the. is how to do. Okay, here you are, baby. Did you want to trade chairs or? Nah. Is it good? Okay. Um. This is fine. Everything's thank you. fine. Um, it's a nice homepage. So let's say, um, pretend like none of this is here, um, and we want to add a page. Wouldn't you just build a new page real quick? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So pretend like none of this is here, um, and we'll click page, and On so side, let's over here, it's, um, I'm going to move to where I'm on the other side. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> um, so we would click this plus sign, and let's just make a standard page, because that's what I use every time. Um, and so over here, we would say, um, was there a page that we needed to add? Probably. Um, the shop, we have the tutorials. You can do your toolkit. I already have my toolkit set up oh. for the page. Um, <clears throat> but you can see over here, it's listed new page. Um, let's do a page of featured work. Okay. So how do I figure out how to type? Um, and this is going to be where I feature uh, the people who send in stuff to be featured in our videos. Yeah. We'll have a gallery of student designs. Should it be featured artisans or gallery of student designs? Featured artisans. Okay, uh, and then this is a header, whatever that means. Um, I usually do a, a short header, or you can do no header. And if you do that, you can always go back in and change it later. So, if that makes sense. Um, uh, visibility, it's public. You could set it to password, or you have to be, I don't know how this stuff works, but it's an option. Now, this is not their free version. We're paying for this because we wanted to be able to control our inventory and have unlimited products and stuff, but that's because we're anticipating hopefully somebody comes over from Etsy or from our YouTube and buys stuff from off here. So, um, yeah, uh, SEO settings. These are important, and I don't know how to use them. So, I'm good. the page title is going to say Artisan, Featured Artisans. Right? Is that how? No, the space bar didn't work. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't change that. I let it just be whatever the website wants it to be. Page description. Featured artwork of our talented friends and students. Come on, space bar. Uh, meta keywords. Wire wrapping. Chain mail. Inspiration. Gallery. Dragon eyes. You can put whatever you want in there. I have not found a limit to how much stuff. I don't know what footer code or header code means. Um, and I don't want to hide it from a search engine. So that's how I do my SEO. <laughs> like, y'all, I cannot... Um, uh, I cannot emphasize how incompetent I am. You can uh, use your own graphics. You can use your own graphics, yes. Uh, Manaya says, GoDaddy charges around 300 a year for a website with a store after the discounts run out is Weebly cheaper. Um... They can be. It depends on how many features you want. Um, we functioned, and I'm not exaggerating, for about six years with a free Weebly website. And it's because we used it as a platform just to have our gallery. And then if anybody wanted to buy something, we just sent them a PayPal payment request. 
for, for the first six, six years of our business, that is what we did because we weren't moving enough product to justify Etsy's fees at the time. And that was before they even raised them. Um, so, okay. And then we clicked done up there and now it's featured artisans. And now, um, I don't know what I did with my backlog. So we'll probably just start moving forward. Um, but so let's say, um, and if we want to, I want the tip jar like at the end. No, not under featured artisans. But yeah, if you want something like up here, you can see shop. Uh, and then these ones are offset a little bit. Now when we go over to our shop tab, it has a drop down of Patreon templates, craft along materials or auction items. So that's kind of how we have that set up. So let's click on featured artisans. Um, and then we go up here uh, and we click build. Are you keeping up with comments? Are there, if there's any questions, holler at me because I'm not able to pay too much attention to the screen. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so let's do a gallery. So we'll drag and drop. And we can click on this and you can drag or upload. I am going to go off camera real quick because I don't know if there's pictures of anything inappropriate on our computer that I'm trying to find. Um, see what it would be. Well, or like, our, yeah, I don't know where I'm poking around. So it's just, it's better to not. Um, or if I, I, I know I got some selfies with people who were like, I don't want pictures of me on the internet. So I was like, okay. To sort from phone videos to edit, be tech website, where would I have put it? Uh, and this is half my life is just trying to figure out where in the crap, like, like, Okay, Randy's so sweet. He's my big dumb face for his background. But this is Randy's stuff. This is my nightmare of I don't know where anything is. So that being said, y'all have Randy in your prayers. He deserved an easier life. He deserved someone who is slightly, minutely um, more organized than this. Where to sort from from Camp Craft Along, Craft Along. Blink twice. <laughs> Blink twice if you need saving. Really? <laughs> would it be? No, the BTEC website. That's a brand new one. Where would I have put? What are you looking for? Pictures of stuff that people sent me. It's in downloads. Dude, I don't know. I don't know either. Where have you been saving them to? Mm -mm. Where, where's the downloads? There they are. Oh, and I don't know how to... I don't know how to see who was from what. Will it show me thumbnails? <gasps> no. It shows me icons. It's okay, Randy. Everything's going to be okay. Where did I save all y'all's pictures to? Copper Moon? <laughs> I love that it's got like a, a tab that's just titled a really long time ago. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's got the stuff whenever I used to the computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip this back around. I'm sorry, it's, we're, I'm sorry, we're like this. Okay, so, this is our downloads, um, and this is this, so we can take this, this is downloads, I think this is one, yes, who sent me this, because it doesn't have your name on it, um, if only you had saved it. If only I remembered where I had saved it. And so now and we have, this is our gallery and we can click this. Let's pretend like there's a bunch more pictures and I actually have everybody's information. That is beautiful though. Who made this? J-Max? Rebel? I don't know. But that aside, <laughs> um, you can control the columns. You can control the spacing the margin so let's make that like oh big top margin no top margin i wonder can i just type yeah i can just type so i could say like we'll go up to 500 yeah it will we don't need that though 20 um top and bottom margin um spacing you can add caption thumbnail display caption on hover i really like that um light box only light box and partial thumbnails light box and full thumbnails i don't know what that means but we'll figure it out. Um, display caption on hover. I like that. Whenever I find out whose this is, um, we will add the caption to be like, and it'll have like your featured. Um, oh, you can put borders on them. Dummy thick. Yes, look at that border. It's 
dummy fit. You can't even see it. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, what's the medium one? Oh, but it makes the picture smaller. Okay, so I like none. I like no border. Because I, oh, I don't know. Maybe I like the thick one. Let's do the thick one. Oh, and that's how I add stuff to my website. But you can add dividers. So let's put a title up here at the top. So we have this title. And I'm going to click and drag. And title just makes it super big. And I'm going to say F-E-A-T featured artisans. And... I'm going to highlight it and make it bold and underlined and make it bigger twice or three times. No, four times. And then I'm going to make it be centered because I like that. <laughs> like, this is how I do. What's this for? Penny. For for her forever? Uh, she has to see a picture of it. Oh, we don't have a picture. We have a video. Is that okay? We have a poorly lit pixelated video. <laughs> I'll send you a picture later. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so featured artisans and then we can put text and we can grab and drop text and here we will say um wait that's our divider i wanted the divider up top so you can drag that no i did want it down on the bottom okay so i'm gonna click here and i'll be like this is where i type about how to become a featured artisan yay um, and I'll do stuff like that to remind myself, like I'll get the outline of the page going first and just type in really rough, like, this is where this is going to go. This is where these are going to go. This is where I need to get this information first. That way I can upload it. And then I'll just have my rough outline and then I just won't hit publish. Cause if you hit publish up in the top corner, then, uh, everybody on the internet can see this. You can do whatever you want and not hit publish and it'll be fine. So it'll be fine nobody will know um and that way you can really fine tune it and make it just however you like um and everything that i've shown you guys you don't need to pay for a plan to do so you could do like a gallery of your designs and then be like if you're interested in any of these or in any custom work based off of these designs please send me a message here or you can put in a contact form again you don't need any kind of plan or anything um see um that's the piece i'm waiting on the tutorial right on the lunacy um light boxes where they click on it and make it bigger oh that's a thing okay thank you for propel <sighs> wait what are you guys even talking about dead puppies i was trying to teach you how to make websites why are you talking about dead puppies um, Jane says, this is the most I've seen and heard Randy on a live stream. It's because I'm physically in his spot, um, where he goes. Advice on coming up with a name. Um. Uh-oh. Hey, Randy. I left my, oh, no, I took your chair. This isn't my chair to be taking. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't know. No, I don't have a good excuse. Like, Love you, bye-bye. <laughs> What's this in my pocket? Okay. Getting resituated over here. Um, business names are very difficult. Um, it, it's probably the most challenging thing because it's uh, you can change your website twice a day. You can change where you're selling. You can change a whole bunch of stuff. But if you change your business name, it's rebranding yourself every single time. Um, so like with YouTube, I didn't know what to call it. So I just used my name because I'm like, that's probably one of the things that's least likely to change about me. It's just Yvonne Williams. Um, and I've had thoughts since then of like things that we could change it to, but I'm like, you know, let's just keep running with it. It's not like devastating. Um, <clears throat> it's nice to have something that's a little bit personal. Um, but like, and it's, ah, how do you pick? Cause it's, you want it to be personal, but you don't want it to be so oddly specific that you're alienating potential customers. Unless you have such a niche product, like a uh, ball jointed dolls. Like that's something that I think it'd be pretty cool to see it go mainstream, but it is not in the mainstream, um, for most people. Uh, and so, you know, have something that is significant to you and to the community that you function in 
um, or into the community that you'd like to establish um, because you don't always have to put draw or color in the lines that have already been established. Um, you, you need a hoodie that says smoosh. I don't wear hoodies. I want it to, I want like a pin that says it though. But no, I'm super, I always feel like hunchbacked and like, like I don't, this is actually the closest to my neck that I can handle clothing. Um, but I just, I don't like feeling, right. Any pictures incoming? Penny, Randy says pictures incoming. Um, I don't think most names I come up with would make customers happy. I'm sure everyone would be offended. And that might be, there's a lot of companies that kind of, that's their shtick. Um, Vaughn gave advice ages ago about having a broad business name so you aren't locked down to what your name represents. Yeah, that's yep. That's warm enough. I'll leave my name there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that was a big thing. Whenever we chose Back to Earth Creations, um, I've always been really in, like, I grew up at a nudist camp. I, like, my dream home is just a, a hovel in the woods, basically. Um, I'm really inspired by, like, fantasy and nature and just the, the, the way that, like, vines grow and leaves are shaped and the colors uh that you'll see just on like nature hikes and stuff so um it's I think Randy actually came up with the back to earth um or I don't know it, it represented in me my desire to reconnect to my childhood roots of really being in the woods um and creations was broad enough that I didn't know at the time like at the time I wanted to be a massage therapist and make like uh essential oil candles and body salves and like uh incenses and soaps and things um and then I discovered I'm very bad at those because you have to kind of like follow directions and do it like like systematically like you have to wait for your soap to set up um and you have to use like a correct name of ingredients or the correct amount of greedy ingredients. And I'm not very particularly uh, efficient, or I'm not good at that. Uh, so Amy says, wow, a nudist colony. How was that? It was phenomenal. Um, like, <laughs> I loved it. it. It was the best, best three years of my childhood. Um, have you made soap? That is something I would like to learn. Um, I've never successfully made soap, so I decided I needed to not have my business be back to earth soap and not be able to make soap. So I wanted something that I could make whatever I wanted and still keep it under the same umbrella company name. Uh, creations, studios, um, there, there's a lot of like, uh, you know, practice saying them out loud, like write them down, use different fonts, see how it looks on a business card. Like there's a lot of different ways that you can test out your company name before announcing it to anybody. Uh, Resin Amore says, ooh, I make soap, right on. I use soap, we need to hang out. Like, <laughs> um, I picked the song Brook because I used to go to my grandfather to pick the song trees for Christmas by this little brook through the woods. It's one of my best memories. Right on, oh, and I see that's really cool. And that's something that you know, you could just share that little tidbit on your website and stuff. And it's just really interesting. Like, I don't know, as somebody who just found out about your company, like, I'm intrigued. Like, that's really cool. Um, ah, Sparky Cat, RST years, which I really like that, especially the, um, the modern two and then URS, like, uh, I don't know, is it texting lingo or something? Like... Uh, ask your friends and family what the business name makes them think of and see if they math your brand. I went with Forest Dragon Creations since what I like to make is all either nature or fantasy. Right on, Julie. <laughs> I'm a little bit shy, so smart. It's not because I went to Jesus, but awkward in my own skin. Right on. No, it's... Mm. Growing up at a nudist camp was probably the most eye-opening thing that... Um, like, nobody ever said modern beauty standards. Like, nobody talked about that. Like, but I was just like, I've seen how people look. Like, people don't look like that in, like, what they show in magazines and stuff. Like, I'm like, I have seen, like, 300 naked people at once. Nobody looks like that. <laughs> like, even the people who look like that don't look like that. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. But I knew what time held for me. <laughs> That gravity has mercy on no one. Gravity and time will take us all. Um, so, <laughs> match, gotcha. 
Um. <laughs> no, I mean, we're humans. We're meat bags with bones. Like, it's... Um, I don't know. It just, it helped me get over very quickly. I mean, totally, like, insecure and, like, self-loathing and a whole bunch of all... You know, you, you don't learn something in your youth and then just bypass being a teenager. Like, you still have to process all that crap. But it de it definitely... um helped me prioritize that it's like okay I'm never gonna look like this maybe I could try to be a nice person or like I always banked on well maybe somebody will like me if I'm smart so I focused on my studies and got like good grades and I was like good grades don't mean that I'm smart I'm getting straight A's and I'm like dumb <laughs> so uh I don't know it's complicated being human let's just make stuff <laughs> so flipping the camera back around I do have to say though I changed my part to the other side because my bald spot was getting unmanageable. So I was like, well, I'll just do a comb over. And I think I'm in love with my comb over, you guys. Okay, body positivity moment over. Back to crafting. I need coffee soap. Resin and more, do you have a store? Does it make you smell like coffee? I want coffee soap. Oh, does it taste like coffee? Okay. <laughs> uh, Foxfire Art Studios. Oh, that sounds cool. Foxfire is a nickname that I got when I lived in Acapulco, India. Nothing to say. <laughs> Wait, that was two different messages. It bumped. Hey, Sarah. Thanks for hanging out with us. I hope that... Good luck to you. I hope I was helpful at all. If I wasn't, I'm sure somebody else in chat was. Cough is good. Need a girl. Nightingale. Ah, Nightingale accessories. That's so clever. Ah, is zombie. <laughs> okay, I thought I'd made a new friend. <laughs> Resin and more is zombie. <laughs> Why do we have a horde coming for us? Mm. Mm. Deanna Polk says, those capstones are pretty. Where did you get them? They were actually gifted to me by you guys. From before I started putting labels on everything that y'all sent to me. So I was like, oh, I'll remember. It was a lie. I did not remember. And I'm terrible with names. I've heard that the coffee grounds make a nice exfoliant ingredient handmade soaps. I believe it. I've been using baking soda, but I had been using baking soda like for in your pool, which is a much coarser grind than um, baking soda for cooking. So then I had bought, uh, it was winter, so they didn't have the pool baking soda out. So I would gotten some from the cooking section and it's just a little too fine grained to exfoliate the way I like. Where'd you get that mandrel? Um... Fire Mountain Gems, but they have them on Amazon, which is actually after today's live stream. That's what I'm working on is putting together my toolkit on our website. And that way y'all can go through and I'm going to have a link to wherever uh, it is most affordable that I found. We are going to have some Amazon affiliate links, but we're also going to have some links to Parawire. We're going to have some links to... Um, uh, Rio Grande and Delphi Glass and like Paragon and just basically, yeah, Art and Glow. We're going to have a full comprehensive list of everywhere that we shop um, with links to the specific items, like for the toolkit and most of our core materials. Um, oh, Jean says they have them at Michael's, which get it because if you can get them with like a 40% off coupon or something okay let me see if I can back this up and then zoom it in because I keep hitting my tripod with my hands as well as like our recording equipment just everything we're gonna be putting everything up on Jean! <laughs> okay. And so now, 
Let's see if I can manage to stay in the frame. I bet you I can't. But we will see. Where's my, there's my mandrel. Okay, so now I'm doing another Baltic Amber one. <gasps> Michael's has their strung beads on sale this week. Oof, hey mistress. It's not invited, it's not invited. It is? It is? I'm hungry. It is 11.18 in Sweden. Really? Yeah. Hot dog. Did you just like Google that or was somebody? I asked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, this is interesting, but what? Okay. So, um, also uh, on our website, though probably not today, though we'll see if we get to it, um, we're going to be posting a instead of just referencing people to our playlists here on YouTube I'm actually going to um, have them categorized by lists on the website of beginner wire wrapping uh, chain mail and like just have them all oh, like that's gonna be so much work. it is but I think hmm uh, I was gonna do it But, and it was just going to be embedding the YouTube videos onto our website. Do it? Okay. It shouldn't be too much work. It'll only take like a couple months of our life. Um, and we'll probably update that monthly. I, I don't think it'll have like our live streams and stuff. You'll still have to just come to YouTube for those. Um, but we'll see. Well, all of them are going to be on YouTube. Yeah, all of them will still be on YouTube. But uh, we're not necessarily going to have every video presented on the website. Just the stuff that if it's if you're just getting into it, it can get really overwhelming. I'm about a halfway happy, and we just do our popular designs. Okay. okay. We'll see. Because, like, there's some of this stuff that uh, just in the playlists on YouTube, it presents it by, like, most popular or time of upload. I'd like to have like a beginning leather series yeah. and we present okay I think we can swing it zoom out just a bit I made a lot of star flyer rings I love the pattern right on Christy I, I love it too and it's it's one of our really good sellers like we sell ours for uh five dollars out of the booth um or used to we're probably honestly going to increase them to like eight eight to ten Randy says um but for our auctions, the starting bid is still going to be uh, $5. Um, oops. May want to links to video with brief description embedded, but you can slow down loading time and some people may click off because of their patience. Ah, that's a good idea, Katrina. And we may do that. We may just link it. Um, and just having that list, I think conveys enough information that even if they just you know, open another tab with our YouTube videos or something. I think probably the way we'll do it. Uh-huh. We'll have a photograph of the item. Ah, oh, like the thumbnail? Yeah. Yeah, that's and a good idea. Paint, that's a really good idea, Randy. Oh, um, um, Vicky says, I sent an email about the Camp Along and haven't received an answer back yet, which is the best email. Um, if it's about Camp Craft Along, please send us uh, an email at info at campcraftalong.com or craftalongcon.com. Um, but it's just with the roof and everything, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm just really bad at communicating, period. Um, I thought I'd been keeping up on my emails, but it's very... I would not be surprised if I've just completely missed it. So after this live stream, uh, before we get started on the website, I'll go through and um, and check our emails and get back to you. Yes. Just like smushing that. Okay, finished product is a little starflower earring. And Christy asks, have you ever made wire wrapped pentacles? Technically, these are pentacles. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. This is a five pointed star. Um, I try to specifically avoid 
making uh, religious symbols because now I've made custom crosses, I've made pentacles, I've made uh, stars of David, I've made anything that people have asked for, but it's almost always been for friends or close clients who, you know, our, many of our clients are our friends now. Like, that's just how we roll. Um, that and I'm a workaholic and I only ever interact with people for work, so it's like, eh. <laughs> but um, I don't like making something with spiritual or religious significance and then charging people money for it. Um, so even if I make something that looks like a pentacle, um, it's a star flower, you know, or it's a star pendant. It's I'm not going to try to market to somebody's uh, what I feel like is a significant connection for them. So if that makes sense. I have to head out. It's game night tonight. Ah, right on. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Hey, Abby, how's it going? Actually, technically, I think Pentacle is the star of the circle around it. Pentagram is the plane. Star, if I remember correctly. And, and you're right, Katrina. But it's... I'm, <laughs> I misspeak so often that uh, I do not get nitpicky about the semantics. Ah, right on, Tanya. <laughs> and honestly, that's what we're kind of hoping to have with Camp Craft Along. Because the dream... The dream is one day to own a chunk of land and host Camp Craft Along on our own property. Yep, because then it, nobody can yell at us for being Nikki. Um, oh, uh, on our pliers, we have... It's a thermoplastic. This is Terraflex, but you could also use Wonderflex. Um, but it's just... It's wood pulp and a, a heat glue, kind of, that whenever you heat it up, it gets sticky and malleable. And I just made my own plier handles because most pliers, when I would hold them, my pinky would just be floating. These ones are actually kind of long enough. Um, but some of them, again, like there wasn't some place for my pinky to sit. And I use these for weaving chain mail, so it was a lot more comfortable on my hand to be able to use. And also it takes distributed the pressure a little bit better on my thumb. But I did both of my pliers like that and I really like them mm -hmm. and that's where I'm at Penny is it's first off from a marketing perspective I am a not about to alienate um anybody who wants to buy something from me <laughs> like I feel like um I will take everybody's money But I also am blessed with a lot of very reasonable customers who don't ask for like, like, uh, as an artist, if somebody were like, I want you to do a painting of this dead puppy, I'd be like, um, no. Like, if it were like, just like, I don't know, I don't like violence either. So it's like, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> incorporate that in my artwork, if that makes sense. But, no. Hey, <laughs> Jibby. I'm just being quiet and doing actually catching you live. I have tool envy. Oof. Honestly, I've never paid more than like $10 for a pair of pliers. I take that back. I think I paid like 12 one time for some nylon gel pliers. But uh, I carry an... Yeah, it's just to be clear, Tanya, we're only mostly joking about it being a... <laughs> I think when other people are there, everybody's going to have to keep their clothes on, but y'all can't make me wear clothes in my own garden. <laughs> like, cannot make me. <laughs> Though, as an adult, I've learned the value of uh, protection from sun and bugs. Oof. Jane says, I paid $40 for bail making pliers. Right on. Well, I hope they last you. <laughs> right on Christy and it's honestly it's kind of a subtle way anyways to be able to incorporate that because I know sometimes it can complicate workplace relationships um and I'm like this shouldn't be complicated for anybody anywhere but that's it's none of my business
Ooh, gotcha, Jane. Hey, Cynthia, I'm using 26 gauge. I think I'm actually going to leave this sit there so y'all can see. But yeah, and so that extra little bit of tail, I'm only wasting about an inch, maybe two inches per uh, piece. So that's not too bad. All right on, Helen. Ooh. Katrina says, I have a friend with $80 pliers. Those suckers can cut through one eighth inch stainless steel. So worth it. Yeah. And that's the thing is that um, sometimes, sometimes you get what you pay for. And some of these tools, if it's super duper specific, uh, then it's just, that's just what you got to do. It's enameled. As long as they're all the same metal type. Uh, this whole bin is all copper or enameled copper because the enameling will burn off. And I want to smelt it all down and make little copper, like, ingots <laughs> or nuggets. I don't know if I'll ever have enough copper to make an ingot. Um, and then one day I will have a, is it a roll mill or something? I don't know. But I want to be able to roll out my own copper plate uh, for backs for soldering and stuff. Um, and I do that with silver as well. But so far I've used such a little bit of silver in my work that uh, I have like one little like tic-tac container with like a couple of pieces knocking about losing it. Um, well, Randy, that's a question for you. Uh, Manaya asks, would Randy be comfortable living a nudist life with you or is he too used to clothes? Dude. <laughs> He's just dude. <laughs> and that's the thing, if, when it says our private home, like, yeah, we run around necky, like, <laughs> It's been a while since we could get away with it because the downstairs, we don't have curtains and we live on a busy street and we're not about to start flashing our bits at people who didn't sign up for it. Um, and, uh, but no, yeah, it's Randy and I are children of the forest. We just run around Nikki outside. <laughs> All right, on Smith, it says I paid $20 for one step loopers worth every penny. They really speed it up and I'm not making crap loops. Right on. I'm incompetent with those, like straight up, but... We did. Thank you so much. I sent you a message on Patreon. Uh, Lydia? Lydia? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the coffee, Lydia. Another star flower. Sorry, I, I can only imagine how many people are like, oh my god, Vaughn, please stop talking about being naked. So I'm going to stop talking about it now. Bye, Marija. It's like we are here for crafting, not to hear about how weird you are. So I respect that. Um, how do you smelt copper? Is it easy? I got loads of bits. Um, I think you just hit it with a torch until it's high enough that it melts. I don't know. Like, that's a, I'm super duper, like, inexperienced and the depth of my ignorance amazes me. Like, I've never ceased to be surprised by how much I don't know about something. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the enameling, uh, <sighs> It will pop and fizzle and be weird, so wear safety everything. Heavy leather apron, arm guards, face guard, like everything. Um, cause hot metal is hot. Uh, hot water burn, baby. Um, but no, it's a, uh, yeah, you just torch it down. It's, I had practiced making some ball tips on a uh, paralyzer. Amy says, look, if you want to craft Nikki, that's your business. I don't want to be losing beads is all I'm saying. But <laughs> but it's most of it is last thing on being Nikki. I just like swimming Nikki. Like, I don't want to have to wear a swimsuit. I like the fact that you're like, last thing. It's not last thing. It's not it's last thing. Last. It's never last thing. So a lot of it is like as a pale skinned ginger, it's. I don't actually like being sitting in the sun. I'm like, e, and I don't like mosquitoes. And every, but it's like it's just really nice to be able to like go swimming and not have to worry about a wet swimsuit. Oh no, Abby. Belly button beads. Amy, what? <laughs> Check out Go Meow Creations on YouTube. He goes, Yes, I watch him. Then pour the molten metal into a special mold. Right on. But how do you really feel about Japanese candy? It's delicious. Brandy doesn't like green tea flavored stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, he is not. Huh? I'm not big on 
He's not really big on candy. Um, but I know that of all the flavors, you do not care for matcha. And that's the green tea. What? You don't care for matcha, the, yeah. the green tea stuff? Um, yeah, I'll slow one down for you, Teresa. Okay, do the end of the earrings real slow. So, I love it. Like, it's very, like, I don't like raw oysters but other than that i think i've liked every single food i've ever eaten ever probably to some degree okay so i'm on the three millimeter part of my mantle and i'm coming up to right here and i'm bracing with my thumb and then i'm wrapping around once twice and three times and bringing it forward i'm going to smush that together right on chibi Matcha. <laughs> Brenda says, hi, I'm new here. I just found your videos last week, and this is the first time I've seen you live. Pretty cool. Hello, Brenda. Uh, I've learned so many things in this short time. Thank you for doing this. Right on. Well, I'm glad to be helpful to you. And I hope you don't mind our live stream banter. <laughs> and then I'm just wrapping pretty messily, actually, four times around. Do what, Randy? Yeah, just remember, you clicked on our face. If you don't like it, you can you can leave. I don't blame you. And this isn't just a you, Brett. We had somebody who uh, commented on one of our videos recently that was like, thanks for wasting 18 minutes of my time. And it was like, um, what? what? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry that you forgot that you can click off my, you clicked on my face. Um, but yeah. I'm baffled by the existence. Um, but yeah, sorry, I think I sped through that. But I snipped, smushed, and twisted it to where it faces forward. That way we can pick which side we like better for our earring. I like matcha stuff too. I don't know, some of it, some of it's good, some of it's not. But I in general, there's something I'm not like, oh, I'm not gonna eat that. It's matcha. I like matcha mochi. That's just good. Matcha Kit Kats. Yep. Those are pretty good. The Crunch Creations. <laughs> Ooh, Diane says, hi from Texas, vacationing in San Diego. Glad to be able to catch you live. Right on. I hope you're enjoying your vacation. <laughs> Bye, Lane. Thanks for hanging out with us. San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> I love this. this. is my first one. Oh, right on. Hey, Helen. <laughs> Brady's in there quoting Anchorman. But yeah, with such a thin gauged wire, I don't mind the, my wraps being a little, uh, <laughs> mistress. Crap, that shit is right wrong. Um, I don't mind my wraps being a little messier because it's all just smush anyhow. But, uh, you do you. So long as that last little pokey bit is tucked in, I don't worry too much about having a perfectly meticulous coil because, honestly, with my failing eyesight, I can't tell the difference anyhow. Ah, <laughs> uh, right on, Nori. Hey, Christine. I'm making little star flower earrings. So you could just closet trolls in Northern. You and Andrea. Ah, thanks, Nella. Well, it's even if somebody says something that's like rude or out of line or you know what, it's there, there's something to be gained from everything. So I don't ever want to just blow somebody somebody off. You know, they took the time to write out a comment. You know, if they're a turd, Ferguson, it's their own fault, I guess. But I'm still gonna check myself and be like, wait, am I a turd? Probably, but they still are rude. So kill them with kindness. And also, it's so easy to take tone out of context in um, in an online environment. So um, I try really hard to, uh, to assume the best instead of the worst. Ashley says I'm a mean turd. <laughs> but you're my mean turd. <laughs> um, the beads that I'm using, these are four millimeter. Um, some of these, these are Baltic Amber. These are blue vase agate. These are green aventurine. Um, these are snowflake obsidian. You can use any kind of 
any kind of bead that you have. <laughs> um, Lydia says, I order those mandrels like you're coming tomorrow. I see you use for Belle instead. It's been so happy to get you a bag of this and stuff. Uh, right on. Yeah, Lydia, today we're actually, after the live stream, we're putting together our, um, our toolkit on our website where we'll actually have stuff linked to, at this point in my career, I have a slightly better grasp of the tools that I use in every video. Um, no, I don't have no idea what you're talking about, Jean. <laughs> oh no, I'm trying to watch two things at once and failing. You got this, man. And then these are 301 surgical steel ear wires. And we'll also be updating the toolkit, you know, as it's like, here's this new thing that I didn't know I needed in my life. Um, and y'all can also, if there's something that you're like, hey, put this on your list. We'll do that for you. <laughs> I wrapped them in cobble twinkle papers for me. They're beautiful. Thank you. All right on, Mary. I'd love to see pictures of them if you're on Discord. But yeah, it's, I, as much as I like, I do love hand making stuff, but I don't mind this kind of mass produce um, bit where it's, I'm making two pairs of each earring in each gemstone type. Um, that way we have some for our auction and we have some for our booth. Um, just, I don't know, this is whenever I'll just let my mind wander. And just kind of mentally bump around into stuff and it's doing designs like this this design was the precursor for whenever i started fractal wrapping things and uh even though lan an has a design for it i had really thought to do um it was a design i had done back in 2008 but uh i'm pretty sure i there i have no claim to anything that i do i just make stuff um but it's where you just make a loop with a bunch of these beads and then you can fractal wrap to set a stone. Um, and we actually have some images of that up on our DeviantArt gallery, which is our older stuff from all the way back to like to 2008, I think. I've had that gallery since, well, no, I've been on DeviantArt since 2005, but that gallery was set up in 2008, I think. Huh? Oh, yeah, not a toy. Use by uh, or in products intended for children 14 or under may be harmful if swallowed. Well, yeah, it's like straight pins. <laughs> uh, yeah, they would, Diane. And you can get a bunch of them made. I mean, clearly, we can just sit around and make a bunch of them. Uh, in a day so now there's also if you make it with six beads I think we can in fact let's do that on the next one let's start experimenting but it's sitting down and mass producing like this that you know like, yeah, these are cool like this but what if I did that the uh, it <laughs> the repetition lends itself to the mutation or uh, the evolution of the design so yeah let's see if we can make a little wrapped link out of this style. Just let me get done with these. Got to finish one project or I'll run out of table space. How you holding up, Randy? I'm, fine. How you I'm pretty good. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. What do you want to eat? Uh, I think we got a little bit of leftovers. Yeah? Uh, I was thinking, do you want salmon and taters? Is the salmon no, but it could be. Because we've only had breakfast today. So we could have leftovers and set the salmon out for dinner later. Uh, sure. I'm just trying to think of the day. I don't even know if we have any salmon, actually. That's rough, Tracy. Ooh, Randy. What? Do you want beans and rice? Uh, and thin meat? We could set the, the meat? Yeah. Dude, y'all, we... we uh-huh. Okay. You want to set one of those out? Yeah. We found meat for, like, it was like a whole tenderized steak for, like, two dollars and fifty cents for the pack um and that's enough meat for randy and i both to have and sometimes leftovers if we're eating more than like once that day um so i was like Ooh, and we got a bunch of them so 
Salmon and Tater Sun. I'm going to have that video last night. I'll be right over <laughs> Right? No, it's super good. Because I've been using my cast iron. And I just cut up the potatoes and put it in the cast iron. And then put it at like 350 for like 20 minutes. With like a metric shit ton of butter. Honestly. Like way too much butter. It is no mystery why I have this Rubenesque figure that I do. Um... But, and then 20 minutes in, we put the salmon on top of the potatoes and then put it in for like another 20 minutes at 375 with like just lemon pepper or whatever seasoning on the salmon. Like, well, we stir the potatoes a bit first and then we eat it. We like it with a, just a, oh, sorry, with a, just a bunch of sour cream. Just a bunch. Though I think I might want to have... Some homemade bread with it tonight. Oh, I like a bread. Okay, and now I'm storing these bad boys in this tray. What size wire and what length do you use for these? I'm going to make a pair with you. Um, I am using 26 gauge wire, and I'm actually working off the spool, but I'd give myself... I don't know. Let's test this and see. Let me test out and see. I'd say like a foot and a half so maybe let's just round it up to 20 inches so oof option can i use 22 or 24 you can um so long as your beads fit onto it like uh something i've shown a couple times already in the stream but for people who just came in these are 15 millimeter beads with an 18 gauge wire so i try to keep the wire proportionate to the size of the bead I don't think I would use personally the 26 gauge with such large beads. Um, but I, it's just kind of a, a rule of thumb more or less that uh, I try to use the, the bigger the bead, the bigger the wire. I try to, or rather, I just try to use the biggest wire that will fit into my bead without getting, I lost my shoe. There it is. How did I lose a shoe just sitting here? Um, okay. What are some beads? Ooh, these are pretty. Let's make some out of these. I think Jim sent these, actually. <laughs> um, so I'm going to see if we can make a loop with, like, a bead link loop, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm actually going to pull off. Mm, this is two feet of wire and we'll see how much we have left over but I'm going to begin by making a loop so let's go one two three and you don't always need to do three rotations if you were using like a 22 gauge you might only need to do two but that's um that's on you and then one two Three. I'm gonna go ahead and do four. I can hear you licking your armpits. Sorry. No. Oh, oh God, Randy. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. Have you ever made the starflower design with polymer clay beads? Ooh, I haven't. But I bet that'd be gorgeous. Just another layer of handmade. Okay. And so now I'm gonna snip real close. Uh, it fell directly into my shoe. <laughs> Get the light out of my shoe. There we go. Okay. No, it was it was a dog, Daniel. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna put six beads. One, two. These look like a four by three millimeter faceted glass. Two, three, four. You eat. <laughs> scroll up. I perfected the. Oh, there, just as I, I can't scroll up right. This. Oops. Lost a bead. Come back, bead. No. Where'd you go? I've lost it forever. Okay. I'll find it with the vacuum. Okay. So four and then five beads. Sorry. I'm off camera. And six beads. Okay. Ooh. 
Katrina says you could also do lamprey beads with this design. They just, oh, that would be, oh, I need to get my kiln working. <laughs> I want so bad. Like, y'all, I can't, I can't, I don't think I can accurate, accurately express to you guys how much it is, like, almost physically paining me to have the glass, have the torch, have the kiln, but not have the electrical wiring uh, set up or the exhaust vent. Because it's like, I'm like, I want to, oh, I need one more bead. I want to do Lampard glass so bad. Like, I was, did I just lose another one? Oh, mercy. Okay. So we have six beads now. Mm. Sorry, I just read when the toast is still warm, the sauce melts into it. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> tell me more about that. I'm going to leave myself just a little bit of wiggle space. It's probably more than what we need, but this is my first time making this. So let's see how this goes. And I'm going to go... Sorry, thank you. One, two. One, two. One, two. Just using the same... And that was the top, so we'll do the bottom. There's one, two. There's one, two. There's one, two. We've already done that one. It's so a crap. How are we going to do this? Aha! Okay, so we'll just bind it off at the neck here. One, two, and three. We'll loops around. And so there's just a nice little triangle. But now I'm going to make a loop. There's one, two, three. And we can probably just do a twist tie, but I'll keep doing it the way we have been. What's up? Sorry, I think having you on make me a good weather support person. Ooh. <laughs> I want to, I really do, but it's, we have so much other stuff going on right now that I'm just going to make, I'm just going to be disappointing if I take on custom work. Like, it's not going to get done in a timely manner. Um, so it's, I, I'm actually having to stop myself from taking on custom projects because the past, at least this last time that I did, the person was really, really disappointed in me. And I'm like, you know, I can't blame you, but I'm just going to stop putting myself in this situation. Um, but there are a lot of really good leather workers out there that if anybody here is available for taking custom, maybe, uh, you know, trade info. So I'm just going to take this and it's not threaded through the beads. So I'm just going to lay it and come around, sectioning off one and two and crossing over. <laughs> right on. Well, um, I've learned enough on Inkscape. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think we'll actually have the template up for that. Uh, exclusive on our uh, website. And y'all, this is the first time I've ever made this, and I'm really, really liking it. Um, sticky toffee sauce mm, on warm, lightly buttered toast. It is the best. Takes two minutes to make, but it's amazing. Good for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all the meals in between. Oh my gosh. I have diabetes just thinking about it, but yes. <laughs> like, ooh, okay. So we've wrapped it. And we have 12 inches left. So we used like half of our wire. So for this design, I would give myself 16 to 18 inches, just so you have a little bit of leeway. Do it, Randy. So you yep. And it feels pretty good. This is a little bit more wiggle. Well, maybe if we smush it. Yeah. <laughs> right on, little Spain. Hermiting lends itself to crafting. Crafting is actually a pretty, pretty lonely business. Because it's fun going over to a friend's house, but to craft, but sometimes you just want to be where all of your stuff is. I want to be in my pile of mess, <laughs> you know? And so that's why I really like these uh, live streams and stuff is because we can just, we can all sit here without pants on and hang out with each other digitally. <laughs>
but yeah so that's a nice little and so you could take this and make a little star flower to hang off the end or just hang a little charm or make a bracelet out of these do you want me to do a tutorial on how to make a bracelet out of these yep <laughs> we got you lydia coming up in the next couple of weeks we will have a tutorial on wrapping this and you could actually encase a tiny cab in there i'd really love to see the different color bead in the center <laughs> right on dury add it to the list how did you know i don't have pants on <laughs> I know I have to show you guys Brandy has a very valid point I'm going to take this opportunity to publicly myself I have had this tutorial sitting here for like a month um Brandy set up all the stuff that's why there were no rainbow bracelets. and that's why there were no rainbow bracelets <sighs> so I, I have a laundry list of projects that I need to get my butt in under me uh, to start doing um but no and i do have pants on randy makes me wear pants for the live streams now and my videos but and i'm like i could edit it out if they see i don't have pants on and he's like just put on pants yvonne just, just don't fight me on this so i was like okay because i love him and it's a valid point um <laughs> don't know where the good beads are kept in someone else's craft and not the accused of crafting right <laughs> make a list it's time to make another list um but it's been almost three hours, which I've really enjoyed hanging out with you, you guys. I do prefer the uh, longer live streams to the just hour long ones. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or ideas, leave them down below after the live stream because not only will I see your question and hopefully answer it, um, it'll put your name in the hat for next week's giveaway. And even the dogs are getting worked up. But um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and just spending your time here with us today. Please check us out on Patreon if you'd like to participate in our uh, Saturday patron exclusive live streams. Because like right now, oh my god, I think it's the highest number we've ever had. But we have 255 people watching. So hey to everybody who watches and doesn't comment. <laughs> Hey, my lurkers. Um, but if you guys uh, want to participate in the chat more and feel overlooked, I'm really sorry. I don't mean it as a personal offense at all. But you could come and hang out in the patron live streams where currently we only have like 30 people who hang out. Uh, and, and so it's much easier for me to catch your comments and interact with you a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and those ones tend to run anywhere from two to seven hours. So lots of crafting and it's on a Saturday. So, um, and it helps support our channel, uh, and all that good stuff. So, but yeah, shameless plug there at the end. We'll see y'all in our next video. And until then, happy crafting, you guys. Check out our new website. Bye. <laughs>